Welcome back, everybody, to another stream day episode of Yakuza 4 Remastered. Hope everyone is having a fantastic time. Um, the Apprentice Part 2. That guy, Arima. We should head back to Sky Finances. Okay. Senryu Avenue, Akiyama first to host this. <clears throat> Do I have... Yeah, I still have that open. That's good. Wee! I'm walking on sunshine. Or... We need this one. <clears throat> hey, SQ, how you doing? Uh, club. <laughs> Rio was shine meets the two of you. <clears throat> And then I need sub stories, Akiyama. Which is this one. Eh. That sounds terrible. What's up, SQ? Let's go with Noah. You already mom, human Pokemon. Yes. Noah this. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Nan ni shimasu? I am um uh... Okay. Hi. Chocolate. <clears throat> I've been working on the uh, a animation today. I learned that there are many things I need to pay attention to. If I want to make it work. Are you on your way home from work today? Well, in a way. You must be tired then. You look like a hard worker, really. Think so. You've got a different aura than most guys. Aura? It's just something about you that seems different. I can't put my finger on it. Do you like hardworking men? Figured most working women prefer that kind of guy. Well, I don't exactly like men because they're hard workers. I like men who enjoy their jobs. Hmm. And I respect that about you. Yep. So I pay attention to things like that. Hmm, that's so. <clears throat> sure, why not? Order chicken basket. Basket. Love me, my thing. <laughs> Feel like somebody's fo been following me recently. What? Like a stalker? I hope not, but it's been going on for weeks. Hmm. Has anything like this happened before? No. That's why I'm so scared. It must be tough to be such a popular girl. <coughs> yeah, especially if you're popular with stalkers. Any idea who it might be? A jilted ex-boyfriend or something? Nope. I've thought about it, but I just don't know. Hmm. Okay. Could be someone you don't even know. Pervert. <clears throat> I think most stalkers choose their marks based on their own absurd logic. Call me anytime if you need help. I'll come running. Okay. I will. Thank you. Hey, Sep. Enjoy your lurk, dude. You're in a good mood. I suppose I am. I just enjoy talking to men more than women. Is that right? Yes. 
That's why this job is such a good choice. Was such a good choice for me. I don't have to talk to any women at all. It's such a pain. You think it's a pain to talk to women? Why? Because they ask for your approval all the time. They're always like, don't you agree? You know, right? That kind of thing. Talking to them makes me tired. Oh, I know what you mean. Enjoy the lurk sap. Hope you're doing well today. Group of girls agreeing with each other as loudly as possible gives me a headache. I know! I can't stand to listen it. And if you actually say what you think, they look at you like you're crazy. Ha! Yeah. Why do they even bother asking if they don't want your opinion? Exactly. You really understand, don't you? Is our time up already? Yeah. Shame. Sad. Thanks for coming to see me. Now uh, you might as well do uh, Aaron now as well. Hi, Noah here. Akiyama-san, thank you so much for requesting me. I knew I'd have a good time talking to you. I think I might have to... Might have had too much to drink, though. Well, I'd love to hear more of your stories next time. Adios. Okay, we walk, go in again. Now we go talk to it in, um... Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Erna. Hi. What would you like? Uh, Yamazaki 12 here. And Dried Raven. Dried Raven. Sumimasen! <coughs> this is what will be happening. Vakarimashita. Let me get that for you. Alright. Hey, dozo. Hey, dozo. Kampai. 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 Hey, dozo. I'm glad I decided to come to Tokyo. Why do you say that all of a sudden? I'm just happy that a nice man like you decided to come and request me, that's all. <laughs> How long have you been here anyway? Actually, about 10 days. 10 days? Probably still getting used to it then. Yep. But I've already gotten the hang of the pace here. The pace? What do you mean? How fast people walk. Always been a fast walker, so I didn't have any trouble fitting in. I think I made the right choice in coming here. What's your favorite place in Tokyo? Mm. Well, actually, I haven't been able to get around much. Do you know any fun place to go? Hmm. Well, sure, but everyone has different tastes. What kind of things do you like? Maybe I can show you around a little bit. Really? That'd be great! You want to go sightseeing? Or maybe out eating? Or shopping? Well, maybe some sightseeing first, then a nice drink afterwards. If we can find the time, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. Um, can I tell you something? <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, slime. Damn. Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Hmm? Come on, spit it out. Well, I'm actually seeing someone. Oh? You left him back in Kyoto? No, he's here. Oh? Did you come to Tokyo to be with him? No, I met him here. Really? But I thought you just got here a little while ago. I met him the day after I got here. You're kidding. That's fast work. Maybe. But he's real handsome. Just your type, huh? Well, I felt maybe I was moving too fast, but... How did you two mate? Oh, he walked up to me when 
my friend and I were out drinking. What's with young girls these days? Never understand what they're thinking. <laughs> You're not that old yourself. But I've got one foot in the grave. Well, maybe not in the grave, but I'm within walking distance of a cemetery. You're funny. Now, haven't you ever had an experience like that? You know, love at first sight. Sure I have. And I saw you, for instance. Haha. <laughs> Just told you I had a boyfriend. I heard you. What about it? Well, you're gonna have to try harder if you want me to leave him for you. <laughs> I'm kinda hungry. Can I order some dried raven? Sure, why not? I'm so depressed, I wish I could stop thinking about this. What happened? I went shopping yesterday and accidentally left a dress I bought behind on the train. Ouch. I'm just so mad at myself. I bought it because I knew my boyfriend would like it. It was so... It was a cute little dress. Cute isn't really my thing, but I thought he'd like it. Choose what you wear depending on who you're with. Oh yeah, I do it all the time. I think he got it wrong, huh? How? Oh. I think most men would be more comfortable with women who dress to suit her own taste, instead of changing herself to match his. Oh, really? If you try too hard at <clears throat> that kind of thing, it'll just make the man feel like he has to try too. I see. I don't mind myself, so it didn't occur to me that it might make other people uncomfortable. Guess there's nothing wrong with dressing to impress. Just don't be too harsh on him, alright? <laughs> I had no idea. Thanks. Time's up! Now I'm broke. Again. Akiyama-san, thanks for requesting me! I'm still not used to the pace of life in Tokyo, but I'm going to work hard to get into the swing of things. Mm. No need to force yourself to like Tokyo. Hey, that's right. Hana-chan likes the Deluxe Kelby they have here. I think I'll buy a couple. Got a Deluxe Kelby lunch. Thank you. Okay, better get these back to the office while they're still hot. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going to the office. want to get beat up Here. 
slowly got to make my way through all the restaurants. Hey there. Chief, you're back late. Yeah, well, hmm. Have you been up to? Anyway, did you hear the rumors? Rumors about Shiobara's son, the man you lent 5 million yen to? What about him? Apparently, Shiobara is really coming up in the world these days. It's the same Shiobara. Speak of the devil, huh? Never mind. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, did you figure out what you wanted to do? I did. Going to work in finance, just like you. You want to do finance? You've been a big influence, of course. But more than that, I've once faced money troubles of my own. I decided I wanted to do something involving money as a way of overcoming my own problems, too. You know, say. So I started out like you did, Akiyama-san, and did some day trading. You were a day trader? Uh-huh. You need money to work in finance, so I made the most of your advice. I don't think I really told you anything all that useful, but okay. Well, I did plenty of studying on my own, too. To tell you the truth, I never pushed myself so hard in all my life. Maybe the effort paid off, or maybe I was just good at it. But that 5 million yen grew and grew. I've amassed a sizable sum, if I do say so myself. Granted, it's not as much as... It's not much as you have. I thought I'd come by today and return the money you lent me. To that end, I've pre prepared 10 million yen. Sure, we agreed I wouldn't charge you any interest. No. I just want to express my gratitude. Well, I'm only taking 5 million. <laughs> Elden Ring is. Consider this as a thanks for all your help. I didn't do anything. I can't accept this. Oh, go on, take it. <laughs> you really changed. Took the money you lent me and fought like hell to make it grow, all in the hopes of truly changing my life for the better. Elden Ring is a game, that's true. I believe in what you told me, that if I proved I was serious, people would be happy to work with me. It was the first time I'd really applied myself to that, like that, and before I knew it, everything was different, the world around me and everyone in it. At first I thought, well, Akiyama-san was right after all, but then I gradually came to understand that the reason those around me were so accommodating wasn't that I was making such an earnest effort, it was because I was successful and had money. That's when I realized something, in order to change somebody's life you need money. That's why you can spur people into action, Akiyama-san, you have money. After all, it was your money that changed me. Akiyama-san. Cell phone. God damn, it's a blast to play, even though the f last four of the f six our playtime have been C and B torture. <laughs> Hello, this is Sky Finance. Er, I was on my way over to your office, and I know I'm in the right neighborhoods, but I'm having a hard time finding it. You hey, know, I'm under the Camarucho gate. I can see a big sign. Okay, walk towards the sign, then go about 100 meter towards the there. The new Serna building will be on your left. We're on the fifth floor. Got it. Thank you very much. Customer? Sounds like it. So it just happens. I've decided to be a money lender here in Camarucho myself. What? Guess that means we'll be rifles. But what's business without a little friendly competition? Well, I'd better be off. He's made his decision. It's not my place to interfere, but becoming a loan shark of all things. Well, he probably has his reasons. More concerned about our new customer. He should be here by now. You're right. He said he was nearby. 
me having a break. I'm okay. How are you, Sep? How are you today? Eco, how are you also? Just called a while ago. Young man outside your building offered to talk with me and took me over to a different office. One moment, please, Chief. It's a customer called earlier. It sounds like she about to go up to him. Hello, Akiyama speaking. You were saying something about a young man outside my office. Oh, uh, that's right. I humored the young man with what he had to say, but I still wanted to stop by your place. I'm calling you from his office restroom. Chance you can just turn him down and leave? Well, I feel like he's going to pursue me into signing something. All right, right, right there. Where's this office? I think it's right near the M store. It's a white building. Near the M store? Okay, hang tight. A bit struggling. Give me a sec before I actually go there. I need to... Hi, I brought you something to eat. You what? Luke's copy lunch set for Kanra, your favorite. Oh, uh, thank you very much, but I'm not very hungry. You can have what? Would you love their special copy? Just take it. You can always eat it later. You shame to let it spoil, please eat it. Well, alright. What's going on? Ordinarily, you'd be snatching it out of my hands. Are you sure you're not hungry, Hanachem? I'm sure, please eat it. I say something's up, but if you really don't need it, I'm not going to force you. You're not on the diet, are you, Hanachan? That's it. You're dieting. I just know it. Well, am I right, huh? Enough! Yikes! So what if I'm dieting? What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's just... Hanachan dieting? Are you saying it's pointless for me to diet? No. That's not it at all. Well, what is it then? You're wonderful just the way you are. Don't give me that crap, chief. Men don't date fat women. That's not true. There are plenty of men who gladly prefer a curvy woman like yourself. Hmm? Okay then, bring me one. Bring you one what? You have 30 minutes to bring in a man who likes chubby girls like me. Kind of short notice, don't you think? If there are so many of them, one measly man should be easy to find. But you have 29 minutes and 45 seconds left. 44, 43. Good studying probably for the last time. Last time studying? Heck yeah, dude. Come on, Hanachan, find a man who likes big women is like trying to find a woman who likes bald men. That said, I'll do my best. Mm. Check for skinny guys at internet cafe, that's a bad idea. Snag a man walking with a big girl. Look around at my own hostess club. Like girls more on the heavy side would probably have a girlfriend to match. Maybe there are couples like that in Theater Square. Um, there's supposed to be another quest around the M store here, right? Here? Big white building? No. It's a white building near the M store. This is... Oh, no, it's not an M store. This is a popo. That's all the way over there. Okay. Who likes bald men anyways? When you start balding, I just shave it off completely, don't admit it, embrace it. Bald men are badass after all, look badass, especially with a beard. I mean... Can't really decline that. 
There we go, this is perfect. Uh, no, if I had to pick, I'd probably go with a slimmer girl, really. She's my sister. So I'm fat, am I? Oh jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> that didn't work out. Where should I try next? Look around the hostess club. In the meantime, we're gonna go to the large white building. Next to the M store. Appreciate you telling me about him, but is this Shiobara guy really all that? You know, I'm going, I'm outside his building now, and he's, like, dragged this guy in. Looks nice enough, and he's been all, just leave it to me about everything. But seeing that guy getting pulled into his office makes me a little uneasy. If I am being perfectly honest, I hate to be a pain, but do you happen to know any other money lenders in the area? It's definitely the place. Akiyama-san! Look, you're free to lend money if you want, but I won't quietly stand by when you poach my customers. Poaching anybody. I just told him you'd make him take a crazy test and to turn him away in the end. I see it'll take more than words to get my point across. That's fine by me. If you want to be a loan shark in this town, you've got to be prepared for this sort of thing. Kamaducho man. Break is ended. Good luck, dude. Why did you get into this business since the beginning with? Because I suggested it, Arima. Arima, but why? Since Shiobara had a knack for finances, so I figured he'd make a valuable partner. I can't do the same thing you do, Akiyama-san, but I'm still serious about entering money lending business. Together, Arima-san and I will rule the world. Come to show finance. Fine. But is that really what you want to do? It's a little too late for that. I suppose you're right. Well, go and wreck in the cash then. See you around. Nice. Little sneak. Wonder how this will turn out. Upgrades! Let's try Alice next. Come on, hurry up. Please, sir, none in our club. You can't get enough of those hosts, can you? At least the best. Their girls are all top notch. Plus, they wear whatever you like, and I hear they'll even wear sexy costumes for you. You mean, like, cosplay? That actually doesn't sound half bad. That's the spirit. You always so tired and depressed. Let's go blow off some steam with a couple of cuties. Can I ask you something? Of course, sir. Go right ahead. You know if any of our customers prefer bigger girls? Bigger? Yeah, like my secretary, Hannah, for example. Hmm. As you know, sir, all our girls are on the skinnier side, so I can't say for sure. Those are the type of girls told us to recruit, isn't that right? Yes, yes, of course. I really don't think we get anyone looking for bigger girls around here. I suppose not. Though we do get the occasional customer asking for somebody a little curvier. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. No, I'm sorry for springing such an awkward question on you like that. 
Should I listen to what Sep said? Go for the skinny guys like bigger girls? An internet cafe near Club Sega on Nakamichi Street. I'll go check that area out. Internet Cafe. Club Sega. Now there's a skinny guy, if I ever saw one. This looks promising. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Sure, what? What do you think about big girls? What do you think about them? Yeah, what do I think about them? In would you consider a heavier set girl to be a potential love interest? Guess I do like them a little on the thick side. Do you know? Mm hmm Like Nana-chan in Magic Instructor Radical Lilica. She's so cute and pudgy. You mean don't know Nanaka-chan? Give me a break. An anime character? That's right. It's actually asking about real life big girls, not anime ones. Like skinny, fat, whatever. I'm not into 3D girls. <laughs> I figured! Figured! Different set of dimensions. It didn't work out. Where should I try next? The red light district. Hey, I have guys with all sorts of preferences. <laughs> hmm. Fucking otaku weebs. Where's the red light district anyway? Red light district keels. Men's entertainment box, love in art massage apparel. Now let's go this way and then head up to the men entertainment box. Box. Uh, I think I need to go north, anyways. Hey, I know it's sudden, but can you give me uh, some allowance, like 10,000 yen? We've been low on some fun money, so I'm thinking we'll just get some by force. That sounds great, dude. I hope you know who you're messing with. What kind of build are you going for, by the way, Hiko? An Elden Ring. Pfft. Didn't he say he was low on cash, yet he gives me uh, double what he was asking for? That's... Something, alright. You fuckers piss off already. Ooh, there's one with a... Um... Boom, boom, boom! So I've been animating all day today, and I've learned some new things. You like big boobs? Do I? More than anything, pal, if a lady ain't big up top, then I ain't down big down below, you know what I mean? 
And if you like big boobs, you must like big women in general, right? Don't be an idiot. Breasts are just big. And just big are two way different ball games, if you ask me. The thing that should be big and round are them titties. Yes, sir. Big boobs, tiny waist. Sure. Guess I misunderstood. As long as we're clear, say, are you on a hunt for some Kamarucho Kahunas too? I know some real prime places around here. Not today, thanks. Damn, this isn't working. I need a better place to look. Like where? Make it big with FX. Lonely Hanachan. Same places again? Oh, man. You must complete the fate of 30 million yen first. Side Kanrai and Akiyama get an idea of some Luke's Kelby. Wait, what the fuck did they do to the. Oh, okay, never mind. Shouldn't have asked. You'll be doing all of them, and you'll have to travel to each point to do the first go to. I can't read. Each point to do the first go to MAB, second go to Sega Theater. All complete. Note that at least that there is a guy in a suit talking about fat chicks. So then apparently there's scout on Pink Street bringing the heavier prospects. Okay, cool. Oh, damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. I'm getting my ass kicked! <laughs> Can't hear the talk. Right this way, please. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to visit to visit with us here at Seal Trading. I am Saki, the company president, and I'll be conducting your information session. Whoa. Audience with the president himself, indeed. I'm very excited about the products we have to offer. First, may I have your name? It's Akiyama. Thank you, Akiyama-sama. Now, Saki-san, what exactly is this for forex thing anyway? Well, we're in the middle of a foreign exchange boom these days with all the all kinds of products on the market, but ours is truly a cut above the rest. Are you familiar with how forex works? You make a small investment and convert it into several times the amount in foreign currency. You can expect high returns, 10 or even 100 times your original investment. Ah, but can you just as easily lose 10 or 100 times your original investment too? You're absolutely right. 
I see you know a thing or two about this after all. Those losses can be a real problem. Now, with your average forex trade, any loss becomes the responsibility of the trader who put up the money. But we're different. We have absolute faith in our forex investing system, so if one of our trades should fail, you can rest assured we'll cover it. So the investor gets nothing but profits? Exactly. Our company takes responsibility for all trades. The investor doesn't have to worry about a thing. And at 30 or, or and at 30 to 40% profitability on a monthly basis, our results speak for themselves. The handling fee is just 1% of the profit, so you can see how you stand to gain. So my money winning dreams by 29% every month with absolutely no losses to meet. And for a limited time, invest at least 1 million yen with us right now, and you'll receive 200,000 yen cash back. It will add that 200,000 to your investment, making your profit much greater. Million rent right here, right now? Oh, well, it's not as though we expect you to walk around with 1 million yen in your wallet. That's why we're offering low interest loans, so you can get your feet wet in the world of Forex without dipping into your savings. Ah, see, Forex and loans both, who knew? That concludes my presentation of our company Forex products. Do you have any questions? Does your company profit from this? Sounds like it make like a fat rat, but does your company profit from this? Yes, we are gratefully grateful for the many pro the clients who've invested with us. Our company is growing and our profits are constantly on the rise. Mm -hmm. So you spread the profits thin and wide. That's one way to do it. Did uh, you have another question? Can I get my investment back no matter what? Something should happen. Will I get my back the money I originally invested? But of course, our company compensates for any losses with its own money. So your initial investment will never decrease. Provided the company stays in business, you mean. What I want to know is, what if the company goes under? Can I still recover the deposit? Would it be trust account? Is the investor's money kept separate from the company funds, stashed away nice and safe in a bank somewhere? Yes, of course, at uh, Toto Bank. Toto Bank? Are you sure you don't mean Toto Trust? <laughs> yes, that's the one. My mistake. Your investment is deposited on Toto Trust, where it's safe and sound. So, what do you think? Have I convinced you of our program's many benefits? I think I'll pass. Can't say I'm entirely convinced. I'm going to have to pass. Huh, hey. Wait just a moment, please, sir. You can't just leave like that, not after hearing me out this far. Huh? Our entire staff will use any means necessary to convince you to sign our contract, even excessive force. Ha! <laughs> what the dipshit! Dipshits. I'm so sorry, won't you please forgive me now? This is quite a dilemma. I could always tell the police you try to bully me into a bum deal. No, please, anything but that. Here, maybe this will help smooth things over. Judging from this, I imagine you guys haven't been doing all that well with this scam, huh? I'll let it slide this time, but if you try this nonsense again, I think you catch my drift. Yes, sir. I'm so very sorry. Everything will be completely legit from now on.
Tell them about Rio. Favorite drink, rose champagne. A dog. Being a pinup model. It's as good as gold. Wait, do I need to exit and enter again? Oh, um, okay, yes, apparently. The article I wrote with your info was a huge hit. I'm getting lots of thanks from guys saying it's really helped them get have a great time at the club. And I've even improved my standing among my fellow editors. It's all thanks to you. Got a bonus for the article, so I had to throw in a little something extra your way. Here you go. Um. Nao Mizutani. Ballet. Chicken basket. Good drivers. Money, 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 money. Erin Ihara. Secretly sensitive rich guys. She's from Kyoto. Yamazaki 12 here. Orange juice. this quest. Never again am I helping people getting information on hostesses. Okay, need to go back to Elise. Baskets. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me respond to Wome real quick. Damn it, it's on the other screen.
face them. Ora, ora, ora. Group owner, why is that scout always bringing his fat girls? I thought I told him to find me the best girls he could find. Well, you know, to each his own. He's out looking for new girls in Pink Street today. If he brings me another chunker, he's fired. There's a scout on Pink Street who's going after bigger girls. He might be just the man I'm looking for. Uh, Pink Street is this way, right? Oh. Yeah, Pink Street. Uh, Pink Street is all the way from here to there. Let's go down first. Because they're cute. You think so? Sure they are. Also sweet as can be really soothes a man's soul, I suppose. For some reason manager of our club hasn't hired a single girl of scouted. The girls he chose are all skinny and bones. Bingo. Say what? Could I trouble you to come with me for a moment? I'm in the midst of work right now. Can it wait? Actually, no it can't. Please, I'll make sure you're well compensated. Okay, why not? It's not like the boss would hire any of the girls I bring him anyway. I owe you one. Now I'm having a cake for nice sugar influx. Nice. Found one Hana-chan. See, this girl named Hana-chan. What do you think of her? What do you mean? I mean, what do you think of her as a woman? Me? Yes, you. Can't just say something like that in front of her. I'm way too shy. Just say it. Well, if you insist, I think she's amazing. Say it louder! Totally my type. You hear that, Hana-chan? See? You don't have to go on diet to be attracted. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You say, Hana-chan, do you believe me now? Please leave. <laughs> me? Oh, come on, Hana-chan, what now? Tell me to bring him here. Just get him out of here, will you? All right. Sorry for dragging you into this. That's okay. That's something I said. You never can tell when it comes to women like her. Cake! I want cake! You all right? Why did you have to bring that man here? What? But you told me to. Honestly, Chief, you're as clueless about women as ever. Hana-chan, sometimes I just feel like losing weight. Some girls up and cut their bangs, others suddenly go on an apple diet. I just... It's just what girls do. And that's what this diet is all about. I was reading a magazine, okay? A fashion magazine. It's not like you. It said that the slim look is in the spring, so I got to think about how nice it would be to wear... Something in style for once, Hana-chan. But no, forget about it. No more diets. Hang on, second Hana-chan. You don't need to call the whole thing off. Just leave me alone. I realized something while I was waiting for you. One whiff of a deluxe Kalbi and I just can't help myself. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it was simply divine. Meat is such a crucial part of any meal, don't you think? You ate both of them? I'll let it slide for today. I mean, you did work pretty hard out there for me. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. Say, are you sure you just want to leave this nice man hanging like that? He did still come all this way. You should at least say thank you. Right, of course, I'll be right back. See you later. <laughs> That's why I love these quests. Thank you, you were a big help. That cutie was sure upset. Is she going to be alright? Don't worry, she'll be just fine. Now, I'm not sure if this qualifies as compensation, but how about a job at my host club? Hmm? All you're doing right now is making your boss mad, so why don't you come work at our place? We'll take care of you. I'd like that, but are you sure you don't mind? Is your club a specialty club? No, it's not that. It's just that I'm thinking it could get kind of boring if all our girls have the slim slander figure. Might be good to get a little variety going. 
Somebody with your taste will help bring in girls for men who want something different. Well, I have no problem pull I have no problem pulling in curvy girls, I can guarantee you that. Excellent then. I'll see you at the club. Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Sure thing. Take care. Take care. They say a woman's mind changes like the autumn leaf. Uh, can't believe I managed to piss off Hannah Chan again. <laughs> Okay, uh, I can grab new abilities! At least one. Taunt Master. Okay, there's one more side quest left. Then we can continue with the main. Right? I think I completed everything so far. Kiryu-chan! Sep, did you save me some cake? Did you send some my way? If not, I need to punish you. What is Majima? I don't know. We don't even know where Kiryu is right now, Chief. Where have you been? We have a new customer. Sorry about that. Apologies for the wait. No problem at all. Now, what can I do for you today? I'm sure I must be asking too much of you, but might I be able to borrow 50 million yen? This is a pretty big loan. May I be so old to ask why? As it happens, my husband also works in the consumer lending industry. The other various factors have tied up his money flow, and the business is in midst of financial crisis. Did the bank stop financing him? It pains me to say this, but past clients who have been overcharged began asking for refunds. The banks no longer... Find my husband trustworthy. Then why are you here and not your husband? My husband is a prideful man. He would never dream of borrowing money from another loan firm. When my husband was young, his father became burdened with debt and committed suicide. From that day forward, my husband vowed never to be failure like his father was, to forever be a lender and not the borrower. For him to borrow from another money lender would be as Though he'd become the father he rejected and could never accept that. He has no idea I'm here. I beg you, please lend me the 50 million yen. Alright, but seeing as you've come here, I assume you already know the rules. I do. I have to pass a test, is that correct? That's right. Usually I give a three hour time limit, but I think I have to consider the size of the loan in question here. As a way of testing your resolve, I'll give you 30 minutes to find employment somewhere here in Camarucho. 30 minutes? Yes. If you succeed, I'll lend you the 15 million yen, completely interest-free. I understand, thank you. Kiryu's probably in prison, wouldn't be too surprising. Oh, and if I may ask your name as well? Setsuko Arima. Damn, that's a nice cake. She's married to the Arima fellow over Tenju loans. You mean, you didn't know she's a familiar face around here? Is she really? I'm not interested in older women, so... Anyway, according to what she said, Tenji alone is doing so great these days. I think you can check on that, Hanachan. I'm on the chief. Well, everything looks okay at first glance, but with all the overpayment refunds and default loans, it's safe to say Tenji's really is in a tight spot, figures. Arima invited you over to his office. He was probably hoping to pull you in so he could get his hands on Skyfire's capital. It all makes sense now. I turned him down, so he goes up to the latest big moneymaker, Shiobara. Barasan gets Tenji's clients, while Tenji gets control of Shiobara's money, as the two of them try to ride out their financial trouble. And I'm willing to bet the clients Arima hands off to Shiobara are the ones with no means to repay him. I might get rid of the back lines and score some fresh funding in the process two birds and one stone. He and his wife might be able to temporarily make it through their financial crisis, but if those deadbeat clients cause money troubles for Shiobata-san, 
No more loans on the horizon. Tenji loans wouldn't be around much longer, exactly. Hello? Hi, Akiyama-san, do you have a moment? Sure, what's up? Well, the lady from Chenji Loans is here asking for a job. What? At the club? Uh-huh. And she's not exactly the right age for her host's work. I tried saying no, but she's not backing down. She says she'll clean the restrooms, wash dishes, anything. I told her there's got to be plenty of other jobs out there, different kinds of jobs, but apparently all the all the likely places turned her away. I suppose not many places in town would hire the wife of the president of Tenji Loans. Does she know I'm the one who runs that place? I don't think so. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. Just stall her for a minute, okay? I'm on my way. Very well. Enjoy the lurk, Seppi. And I'll be right back, okay? Later, Chief. Later, Chief! Now, there's another side quest here instantly. That's great. That's Arima. Huh? Setsuko, what is this I hear about job hunt? What the hell's going on? Well, don't worry about the company. Shiobara and I were just putting the finishing touches on our partnership agreement. Hello? Shiobara-san, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Sparing in the middle of signing our agreement. Oh, I see your wife is here too. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. Set back to finishing that paperwork. Don't embarrass me anymore. Got it? Embarrassing whom? Azelar! Akiyama-san! Why are you here, anyway? I own this place. Oh. What you do with Shiobara is not my concern, but this lady here is my customer. Stay out of her way and let her finish her test. How dare you? Why would you be taking this test? I haven't realized this yet, but Tenji loans this. Well, shut up. Come on, guys. Get him. Oh, I... Uh, I know everything. Already. one. Zillar, how you doing today, buddy? Still sick. That sucks, dude. Sorry, Arima son, but I took the liberty in looking into your company's financial health. The high interest rates you charged are coming back to haunt you. Refunds and defaulted loans have put your business in a precarious position. Even if you manage to get over the current current hump to by giving your client to Shiobara, Shiobara and putting his money in Tenji's pockets, the demands for refunds won't stop, and you don't possess the financial means. To get new clients. Shiobara's funds will just barely solve the problem at hand, and the only clients he'll inherit are the ones who can't pay him back. He'd be left without nothing but a bunch of deadbeats while Tenji Loans bleeds him dry. Your business is destined to fail. Destined to fail. 
bad streak is usually enough to keep the banks from lending to you. Unless you reel in some new loans, Tenji will go down in flames and take Shiobara with it. Setsuko saw knew all this. She swallowed her pride and her honor, ready to scrub toilets in a hostess club if that's what it took to pass my test. She was genuinely trying to make a new start with you. So you pass the test, it will lend you 50 million yen like we agreed. Thank you very much. You really helped me out, Akiyama-san, I appreciate it. I'm not exactly trying to, it's just like you said. Show people you're serious and they'll be happy to work with you. Son's wife was serious about passing your test and you responded to that. I think our Rima son really understood his wife's determination as well. My eyes have been opened. I made a little bit of money and started acting like I had it all figured out. Start over and this time I know my efforts will pay off. Let's hope this time it uh, will be the case indeed. Ugh. Let's go eat something over here. Eat here. Beef a curry. See four experience points. Um, so you know what? Today's my birthday. That means I deserve a heap pile of presents. Why don't you start it off? Are you just gonna ignore me? Oh, that's no fun. In fact, it makes me kind of angry. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill you now, okay? Oh, this uh, guy's uh, line is uh, pretty fucking messed up. One more side quest. Dummy, 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 you. Out wandering around as usual, see? Well, I don't know about wandering around. I'm busy, me busy guy, you know? Spare me, you were all playing pachinko or something, weren't you? You have any idea how many jobs I took care of while you were out goofing around? Meanwhile, the world keeps turning. Apparently, some counterfeit bills have been making their way around town. I saw them on the news site. You've been surfing the net all day, have you? Been gathering info for work! Whatever you say. Counterfeit bills, huh? That's bad for business. Tell me about it. I hope they catch the crook soon. I'm sure Tokyo's finest are on the case. Um, why do I even bother? Hello? Oh. Hello, Chief. We've got a customer. Oh yeah? Who is it? Ah, Hayashida-san. Is it payback day already? I wish you'd keep track of these things. Here's this month's payment. Thank you. Just giving you a moment to make sure we're all squared away. You're always so prompt with your payments, uh, Hayashida-san. Really appreciate it. Times are tough, so it certainly hasn't been easy. But I've managed to hang in there. Well, in this line of business, you're a rare bird as far as customers go. Hmm? Did you by chance withdraw this money from the ATM? No. I took it from the safe at work. You run a restaurant, don't you? French restaurant. Oh, I've got to go try it out sometimes. 
there are some kung fu bills in here. What? They're actually pretty well done. Definitely good enough to fool the eye. Probably couldn't fool an ATM though. Kung fu bills, like the ones we just read about online? Could be. Thinking we just found the man responsible. What are you saying? Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> I doubt you not only use fake bills. I'm sure you're beyond reapproach. Of course I am. I've been working my fingers to the bone to pay back this money. Why would I try to swindle my way out now? Exactly. You remember when you got this money? Let's see. Sorry, I'm a little fazzled. Last week I deposited everything at the bank, so this must have happened some time after that. That helps narrow it down. Any suspicious customers come by the past week? Suspicious customers? Say, someone who orders a thousand yen dish and paid with ten thousand yen bill. It happens pretty often. Ask to break big bills as they paid? Yes, there was someone like that a couple days ago. Couldn't exactly say no. Might be your man. Do you remember what he looks like? He struck me as kind of Yakuza type and he was pretty intimidating. So it was kind of hard for me to turn him down. It's gotta be him. Super shady! Very interesting. I'm asking you this. Are you much of an artist, Hayashida-san? Me? I don't draw very well, no. Let's see. I'm not Picasso myself, so that just leaves who? Me? Yep, it's your time to shine, Hana-chan. Show us what you can do. Well, uh, alright. Would you please describe this customer, whatever you can remember? Let's see. It was about 40 years old, and, uh, 40 years old... about all I can remember. <laughs> See, so something like this? Hmm, what's wrong? Looking for some kind of ogre. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't kind of... does kind of look like him. Really? Sure you're just not being polite? Oh, come on! You told me to draw, so I did! <laughs> Forgive me. I had no idea you were so bad at it. <laughs> now, uh, then... Hayashida-san, do you really see a resemblance? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I see, then. And here I thought I was man of the world, chief. Never mind. Hana-chan, can you make me some copies of this? About 50 or so should do. Like, I'm not embarrassed enough? Look, I'll make the copies, but don't tell me you're going to try and find this guy yourself, thinking about it. You don't have to go that far. I'll replace the fakes right away. Besides, wouldn't it be better left in the hands of the police? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll be in touch if I find anything out. You say so. I suppose I'll be on my way then. I think if they are looking for Picasso-type artists, they, they should hire Yordi. Yeah, but I can actually not... Uh, draw people that well. Entirely sure this is the culprit, but it's all... to go on right now. I'll ask around. Take care of the office wall. Done all right. Can't you at least try to get through some of my paperwork first? Of this paperwork. No, I'm, I'm the chief. I never go through paperwork. I'm not really slaved over this sketch. Should start hanging them up. I'll stop by a friend's place first. Maybe somebody who usually deals in big bills. Like the owner of Sushigin. I should still hire Yordi. I know. I've been working all day today, Sidlar, on a uh, animation, and I've learned a few new things that I should keep in mind the next time I decide to animate something. But uh, I wonder what it's gonna look like. It's done. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to the toilet.
Patient time. Medication time. Boom, boom, boom. No, we're not going to meet up with Lily Chun just yet. I don't want to deal with story. I want to continue side questing for a bit. Sushigi. Uh, oh no, it's a little bit further ahead. Uh, where are my medication? Oh, this is Akiyama-san. Hey there, chef. How's your back? Oh, it's jacked, honestly. I'm aching all the time. Hurts so damn much, can't even get downstairs. Sorry to hear that. Listen, can I ask you to contact me if you see anyone like this? Hell's this? Your draw daughter drew that? Like, I've got kids. Look. I know it's terrible, but apparently it really captured the essence of the guy. You don't say. Well, okay. I'll show it to my staff. Thanks. I'll bring... Uh, I'll have to bring Hanachan by one of these days. Sure thing. But call me the day before, will ya? I gotta stock up before she gets here. Like, I can eat. <laughs> now for the Popo in Nakamichi LA. Pretty desolate over that way. No telling what sort of shady characters might drop in. Vroom vroom vroom. Vroom vroom vroom. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do. As business, you know, I gotta say, the competition is pretty fierce. We're in some shoplifters, and it's a real struggle. So I'll drop, listen. Can you do me a favor and let me know if you see this guy? Kind of raw shark test. A what now? No. Supposedly this resemblance is uncanny. So if you see him... Volcano? Volcano Manor? Volcano... Who the fuck is Naomi? Oh, there. Volcanic Volcano. All okay. green. <laughs> Oops.
What is this Yakuza when you are playing a comp? I'm not playing a cop. I'm playing a money lender. A loan shark. But with zero interest on the loans he gives out. Pachinko! So? Yakuza... Lone Sharks also have offices. Kancho! Bug meme. Just go on a trip, but I'm working five days a week this month. Don't even have time for college. Like, you'd go if you'd had time. Listen, I'm here to ask you a favor. If you see this guy, let me know first thing, okay? Text this. I'd like to meet with him if possible and get got some business to discuss. This, whatever. If I see anyone who looks remotely like this, I'll let you know. Thanks, appreciate it. I'll just show this flyer to the homeless guys at Park Boulevard. They've got a network all their own. Park Boulevard. Where the fuck is that again? Is that this one? No, it's Public Park 3. This... Oh, okay, so it is here. I'm not in the mood for you, Lamos. Piss the fuck off. Gancho! I don't know why I'm picking up all the garbage. Might be an achievement link behind it. Is there Concho in this game? No. No Concho. Holy shit, that's a big group of people. I mean, we are kind of mostly playing Yakuza people. I don't see them running around conchoing people. Oh, man, these DVDs are amazing. Truly the most priceless of valuables. Can't stop staring at them. I memorize everything about them. Five hundred experience. Hey, thanks for all the great beer and liquor. You should come join us in, for a picnic when the cherry blossoms start blooming. We can do some more drinking. Oh, but you seem like you've lo got a lot of enemies, Akiyama-san. We can keep you protected until springtime, <laughs> but you better start drink bringing drinks to the other guys too. And drinking at certain stores or helping certain people with their problems, you will gain allies. These allies may tell you about special menus. Or help you when you get into battles around town. To get to know 
the people around town and truly become a face of Kamurucho. You won't have to worry about a thing when you walk around here. But if it does get scary, you'll just have to get by with gifts. Akiyama, you look like you got some time on your hands as always. Look who's talking. So, how's it going? Are you able to take baths now and then? If I had money for public baths, I'd spend it on booze! If I... <laughs> I just had one of them oily drum baths though. They didn't cost a thing. You'll catch a cold though. Whatever. Take a look at this. If you ever see this guy, would you please let me know? There's some money for the phone call. Oh, it's terrible. Did you draw this? Oh, who? Me? No way. Apparently it's pretty accurate. Mind asking your friends to keep an eye out too? Leave it to me. Feel free to bring us some goodies again anytime. I'd be happy to. Thanks again. They are the Yakuza. If they want to concho, they will concho. Wandering around town. Bit myself, seriously though. This guy can't really be that ugly, can he? I bet he can. I mean, I've already seen some pretty fucking uglos in this game so far. Hey, Akiyama, is that you? Uh-huh, you find him? Yep, my buddy said he was sulking around Pink Street. Shouldn't believe how much he looked like the picture neither. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty incredible. Okay, I'll check it out. So I owe you one. Pink Street. Okay. Uh, Pink Street is this street. North Pink Street. Just pushing over random people. You can't push over girls, apparently. Guess it was a good sketch after all. Hey pal, got a sec? Hmm? What do you want? This guy look familiar to you? Shit, you blue boys work fast, don't you? Hey, wait! <laughs> Jason! Sure, Akiyama. Sure. Oh, holy shit. Okay, did not anticipate that. Oh, Akiyama, you fool. Okay, 
Now why did you have to run off like that? Might as well have confessed then and there. Wait, I just helped out a little. If you guys are gonna bring me in, then at least get the other guys too. You're Yakuza, right? Aren't you supposed to be looking out for your boys and whatnot? Doesn't matter. Who are these other guys and where are they? We're at the docks. You can get there by cab. A bunch of them get together just about every night. There are some young ones with from my branch and a couple of dudes from Con Continental Asia too. You'd better watch yourself. They mean business. Good grief. I get myself into. Listen here, pal. There are sketches of you over town. If I were you, I'd turn myself in. Yes, sir. Now to head to the docks. No! I didn't. Um. Why do I have to be so goddamn attractive? <laughs> All these people are just jealous. Talking about Kancho, Majima would definitely Kancho someone, but with a knife. That sounds like a foolproof plan. Majima! Majima! Who are you, dude? Not ones for sub subtlety, are they? Funny thing about counterfeiting, it always leaves a paper trail. Where the hell you come from? This fellow sent me here, said this is where the magic happens. Son of a bitch holds out. Don't know what you think you're doing here, but the only way you're leaving is in a body bag. Huh, actually, I happen to have a bone pick with you guys. Forgive me if I go a little bit overboard. Bastards, you're asking for it. Well, that uh, is legit what I did.
Who the fuck are you anyway? Just your everyday money lender. Converge Police Department. Hello, officer. Yes, can I help you? You know that counterfeit story that's been in the news lately? Pretty sure the perps are laying in a pile down at the docks. Wait, what do you mean? I mean to kick the living shit out of them. Alright, I'm done here. Hmm. Fake bill. All right, it's the counterfeits Hayashida uh, gave me. Now that's the way to light a fire. <sighs> Think I'll give Hayashida uh, a discount and let the counterfeit portion of his payment slide. Okay, back to... Level up. Okay, we can start working on the level 3 shenanigans. Why do you guys keep bugging me? Okay, now everything is done. We go to that noodle store or whatever it was, and then continue the main quest. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I walked around him! Let's go walk in here real quick. 
see if I can buy some weapons or crafting. You need something from me, man? What are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm selling stuff out of this car. This town got pretty crazy lately, don't you think? So I'm taking my shop on the move. Move? So you take it to other cities then? Nah. Never leave, Camarucho. Try to find me around town when you got a sec. When you do, I'll welcome you and your business of open arms. Okay. Can we, uh, can I buy? Doesn't look like I can actually buy from them, though. Crafting materials. Precisely. We're almost done with this store, that's good. Kevin son, this is Tuana from Lee's. Lee's son just went home and I finished totaling her sales for today. Great, thanks. How'd she go? Just over half a million yen. That's amazing considering it's only her first day. Pretty impressive, yeah. But she's gonna have to step up her game if she actually wants to pass through. Maybe you could drop in during her next shift. It might help having you there to give her some pointers, Kevin son. Not bad idea. Sure, why not? Thank you, sir. See you then. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, no worries at all. Nice work today. Wait, can you used to it? Yes, but... Hmm? A little worried about how much I made today. Didn't feel like very much. You want to know the exact number? If you don't mind, yes. Right, here goes. Your total for today came out. 500,000 yen. That's it. What a long face. It's pretty dang impressive. No, I know, but I still leaves another two and a half million in only two days. Worry, today was about settling into the job. And hey, you didn't even have a full shift, I suppose. Seriously, you'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <laughs> What's so funny? You're a very interesting man, Akiyama-san. Yeah? You say it's a test, but now here you're telling me everything's going to be fine. What's wrong with that? It's not like I want you to fill or anything. Of course not. I want more... I want nothing more than to lend you that money. Might be a test, but I have been hoping you'd succeed from the bottom of my heart. Plus, I know you're not just taking, just take, not just gonna, uh. Plus, I know you're not just gonna take failure lying down, not with that much money on the line. Yes, you're right, I can do this. That's more like it. Just try not to stress too much, yeah? Keeping cool is half the battle. Okay. Now, how about we enjoy this date? Anywhere special you'd like to go? Hmm, can I ask you something first? Why are you being so nice to me? Because you're worth it. I'm not sure I understand. This isn't, this isn't part of the test, is it? Not exactly. But hey, remember the date we were on earlier? Let's just call this part two. So it is part of the test then. Here I was ready to join you on an actual date. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter what it is. Just keep me company for a while, okay? Uh, that's settled. 
Where do you want to go? You pick. Hmm. I get to choose. Anywhere you want. Don't worry if you can't take think of a place though. There are plenty of spots we can stroll into if needs be. There actually is somewhere I'd like to go. You sure you don't mind? Of course not. So where is it? A bar I've heard about over in the Champion District. I think I'll recognize it once we're there. Alright, let's go. Ugh! Again, another one of these moments that I can't sprint. I gotta walk all the way to the other side of town. Feels like we're walking with Haruka again. No. His fast walking uh, position is also kind of fucking awkward. He's like, when he fast walk, he's like walking as if he needs to take a dump or something. During this moment, we actually don't run into any people that want to fight us. Hmm, is somewhere in here? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember this building being here before. It's been around at least as long as I have, probably way longer. I think we could head inside. I'd like to see it for myself, if you don't mind. Hmm, sure. I do know this building. It really brings back memories being up here. Yeah? Though back then it was one of the taller buildings in the area. It really stood out. Probably didn't recognize it because of how small it seems in comparison nowadays. Did you used to come around here a lot? I, I lived here, yes. Honestly, it feels like that was a lifetime ago. Hmm. Those were the days, sure. I was always broke and lived in a tiny apartment, but life was good. Tell me something. Why are men always so busy looking upward? Sorry. They work themselves to death for that one big break, and they end up forgetting the girl by their side in the process. I suppose the guy in my line of work is kind of biased, but... Whether it's family or the one you love, it's tough to make anyone happy without money. Men tend to take that responsibility pretty serious. We're all desperate to claw our way up to some place stable, that's my theory anyway. I'd be fine with all without all that. Things had just stayed the same. Well, I would have been the happiest girl in the world. So you can't stand how money changes people, yet you still came to me for a loan. Strange, isn't it? I never really cared about it before and now I need it more than anything. Life's good at throwing you curveballs like that. Makes you wonder though, why does many money make the world go around anyway? Nice. 
really shouldn't be doing that though, while you're being hunted by the Yakuza. なんとなくあなたならいいかなって思っちゃった。あなたはどうして<笑> あの頃俺にお金がなかったからさ。ああ、タイミングワズパーフェクト。柴田のことを分かってて喧嘩売ろうってのか。そうだそうだ。柴田組のことならよく知ってますよ。東照会の直系って肩書き振りかざしながらも二次団体の中じゃ常に末席に位置する万年窓際族だ。ほら。なんだ
I mean, he'd never do shit like this without a good reason. Listen, Kido-chan, let's say Arya-san does have a reason. How exactly are you planning to explain that to the Tojo clan, Brass? Huh? What do you mean? Remember their relationship with Yue no Sawyer has gone sour. But all that gets swept under the rug if they hadn't over Arya-san. The Tojo doesn't really give a damn why he did what he did, or even if he did it all at all. The only thing that matters is what, what uh, is that he's their way out. So what? He just gets to be their sacrifice, pretty much. Oh wait, how very fucking rude of me. I didn't ask Yordi how Yordi was doing. I didn't ask how Yordi was doing. How are you doing, Yordi and Seplar? I'm doing okay, man. I'm just, like, working on things slowly. But he, look, Arya's a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove he's innocent. That's why he's gone into hiding. So what do we do? Take it. What for? This is the only way I can help now. Find Arya before the Tojo clan or the police do. We can worry about the rest then. Use whatever money you need to track him down. I've got other work to do. And you're the only person I can count on. Kyama-san, why are you doing all this? Let's just say it's an investment. Arya-san's worth it. I don't get it. Why do you care so much about Arya and Aki anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, actually it does. I'm looking for him because I want answers. And I'm not taking this cash until you tell me what you're up to. Please, I need to know. Fine. あらいさんに助けられたことがあったんだわ。え、沖山さんがあらいの兄貴で。ああ。ところでお前、俺が昔ホームレスだったって話は知ってるか。え、まあ、噂程度に聞いたくらいですが、本当だったんですか。実は
俺はもう一度人生をやり直せるってな,なんか運がいいんだか悪いんだかわかんねえ<笑> You're u n l u c k y or the luckiest、まあ、なだがその時の俺にとってその100万円は命と同じくらい大切な金だっただがそんな大事な金をこともあろうに俺は盗まれちまったんだ路上で寝ている隙にな誰にですか町のゴロツキさあの頃からこの町じゃホームレス狩りとか言って路上で寝ているホームレスを襲うような遊びが流行っていたからな待ってくださいそれじゃあもしかしてその時に秋山さんを助けたのがそう新井さんだ当時新井さんは金村工業に入ったばかりのチンピラだったそのチンピラが俺から金を盗んだ連中から金を取り上げホームレスの俺にわざわざ届けてくれたんだどうしてそんなこと新井さんは涙を流して喜ぶ俺に言ったよ。俺がこの町を変えてみせますって。兄貴、俺はその時誓ったんだ。What if you've been up to lately, Dundee? 仕上がれた時は、この人にかけてみようって。かけるああ。この人なら、カムロジョってサルヤマのボスになれるかもしれないって思ってたんだ。カムロジョってのは、弱いやつから強いやつまで。いろんな連中が集まってくる。いわば一つの群れみてえな場所だ。だが集まってくる奴らには一つだけ共通していることがある。何ですか夢だよ。カムロ町に飛び込んだ人間は皆必ず夢を見てる。夢いい女を抱きたい。金持ちになりたい、えばりたい。どんなちんけなもんであっても、ここに集まる連中には、みなそれぞれの夢がある。だが、その夢を叶えられるやつは、ごくわずかだ。そして、人は夢を諦めない。生きていくのに必要なもんだからさ。わかるかはい。みな、夢を見続けていたい。だからこそ、この町では、人に夢を見せられる人間が求められているんだそれが新井の兄貴だとああ良くも悪くも人間ってのは強さに憧れる新井さんにはその絶対的な強さがある俺はそう思ってんだボスがいない猿山は機能しないこの町は今I wonder how、uh, Kiryu is going to fit in all of this. Kamuro Shote was sure. In the Mazes to some of the Saru Kokudo in Motometekita. Then a Kiryu Kazuma to you, Karismanga Satta Ima. Bosu Sarto Narelu Yingen Wainai. Kino Shinakata Machikara, Saru Satte Tishima. Tio Bosu Saru Motometeda. Nanka Fukai Hanashi Sne. ちょっと回りくどい言い方だったが、要はそれくらい、俺は新井さんにかけているってことだ。わかりました。俺、秋山さんの夢のためにも、新井の兄貴を必ず見つけます。このお金は、ありがたく使わせていただきます。お何かわかったら、俺に連絡してくれ。はい。どうもす。どうもす。Took longer than expected. Maybe I should go check in on Lily Chan. What are you talking about? You've got debts to collect. Hmm. Did someone have a deadline today? Today? Try three days ago. People don't pay on time unless you remind them. What if they skip town? All right. All right. So,、uh, who are we talking about again? The owner of Marimba. That bar in the champion district. Now go, Black Dip. Oh, there's no time like the present. Let's see how many side quests are popped up on my screen. Head to Marimba. Akiyama san, this is time of our release. Hey, Taunma, what's up? They showed up for work. If you have spare time, you should come give her pointers. Right. 
Be right there. I'm not going to like this, but I better pop in the lease for a minute. One, two, three. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go grab something to drink. Side stories is what Jordi likes to do. Oops. Pardon me. Oh, sorry, huh? You are... Shiobara? Oh, Akiyama-san. Time moves quick. You don't see a guy for a while and he goes back to the simple life, huh? Yeah, well, it's a hard thing. Rumor Mill's been pretty quiet lately. Out of town. Something like that. So when were you so wishy-washy? Business on the rocks or what? Started a loan office in another part of town. Figured I'd follow in your footsteps for real this time. But with so many bad customers as late, my cash drivers has run low in basically time at all. Tried to recoup my losses by doing some day trading on the site. Didn't work out too well. For I knew it was practically distute. Ah, so that's why you look so gone lum. After all, you were basically down and out that first time you came to see me, right? And a damn sight more spirited. My dad, full of that can-do attitude. Snap out of it, pal. So, what if you're back at square one? No, anything back then. I was obsessed with making it big, even though I hadn't accomplished a thing. It's different now, though. I tried everything I could and failed, so that's it. I'm hopeless. Man, what a drag. You're bumming me out over here. I know you've been through a lot, but before you toss it all out the window, how about another one of my tests? Yep, if you pass, I'll give you another loan. No interest, no collateral, same as before. Decision, Akiyama of Sky Finance, we're talking in here. Going to ask me to restruct another company, are you? Because you don't want to let a guy like me anywhere near struggling business. They're catching on, no. What kind of test wouldn't suit... That kind of test wouldn't suit you all these days. Besides, there's no much fun in reruns, is there? Single cigarette. You have one hour to turn this... Some... Turn this into something viable. I'll play too. But how do we determine the value? I know. We'll ask the pawn shop. If your item is judged more valuable than mine... I'll lend you 100 million, Sky Finance guaranteed and all. 100 million? Uh-huh. That's the test for today. You said you were an ace day trader. Let's see if you were telling me the truth. Please don't joke around. You'd really loan me 100 million for such a childish game? You in or out? I assure you, I'm serious. This is your last chance. If you don't take it, you really are done for. So, what's it gonna be? So much. I'm not the man I was when we first met. Said a hundred million, right? Sure hope you keep your promises. Now you're talking. Okay, here's yours. 
Meet here in exactly one hour, not a minute later. Got it. Ready, set, go. Okay, uh... Tricks of trades. It's old self. Okay, I'm gonna use the ace to then take a cigarette, tries to turn it into something valuable. Two of you will be going on a fetch quest to trade up as much as possible. Outside the park is Yakuza looking for smokes. Speak to him and he'll give you stomach medicine. Hey, mister, got any smokes on me? I gladly take one off. Cigarette, sure. Don't one. I have one, but I can't just let you have it. Aw. Got me doing like that. One little cigarette? Sorry, I can't. Be happy to trade it for something, though. Anything. Hmm, you serious? Hang on. Maybe I got something. And how about this? Ain't too good with mm, digestion. Medicine. Alright, deal. Sir, I hate to ask, but are you planning to use that? Get the runs or something? No, I'm planning on turning it into something worth, say, a million yen or so. Huh? Uh-oh. Better keep an eye on time. See you around. Jeez, what a freak. Uh, oh, actually, talking... Just makes it worse, and I'm not getting my hopes up. You have by chance I have stomach when it's in fact to do. Uh, don't mean to be a jerk here, but I really can't just give it to you for free. Sorry about it. I'll pay. I'll pay. For it's late. I nearly neglected to give you a token of my gratitude. That won't do now, will it? It's not much, but I hope you accept it. Oh, um, well, I appreciate the sentiment. Could you maybe give me something other than money? Hmm, you're a rarity, my friend. Let's see, something that's not money. Sorry to say, these are about the extent of what I can give you. Hey, tickets to a concert my company put together. This orchestra puts on excellent performance, let me tell you. Of course, I don't know if you can make it to the concerts today. What do you think? That's absolutely perfect. I'll gladly take those off your hand. Ha! Ah. Classical buff, are you? Will wonders never cease? Indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me. Of course, enjoy the concert. Trading quest! Feels like I'm playing Zelda again. Can't believe it. How could you forget our tickets? It's all very strange. I told Makita once, I told him a thousand times. As soon as we got back, he's fired. Who's Makita? My assistant. It was his job to put today's tickets in my breast pocket. I'm going to have to fire Takija, Tak Tachigawa too. It was his job to tell Makita about the tickets. You sure have a lot of assistance. I hope you have a backup plan or something, or else I'm going home. No, wait. Tickets, huh? I wonder. Excuse me, did you mean these tickets? Listen, I'm a little busy at the... Oh, that's them. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. It's almost spooky. But that's beside the point. Please let me have these tickets, I beg you. I'll pay for them, of course. How much? I'm afraid I'm out of cash. Do you accept checks? Actually, I prefer something other than money, if possible. What? Money's no good. Hmm. It's a strange world we live in. It's not every day I meet an interest. I meet interesting people like you. Charming little counter brought about by an untimely misfortune. How delightful. We have this then. You exchange concert ticket tickets for a business card. Trust me. Just take it. Hmm. 
Morrison, Ginray Association President. What kind of association is this? Haha, <laughs> find out someday. You really saved my skin until we meet again. Who's that? And how long are you two going to keep chatting away? Now, now, a lady like yourself must always keep her cool. Shall we go to the concert, my dear? Huh? What about the tickets? Right on time. This is Oyamakun. It's his job to pick up the slack when Mikeda and Tachigawa drop the ball. How many assistants do you have anyway? Oh well, at least it all worked out in the end. Let's be on our way then. Thank you, Oyama-san. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Theater Square. Trading quest. Hey, 20k. I like that. That's some nice money you got to give me there, bro. Damn it. There's got to be some way to join the Ginray Association. Ginray Association. Name, name rings about. Excuse me. Did you say Ginray Association? Yeah, I said it. What's it to you? Is it really that great? I pity your commoners. The Ginry Association is a social club open only to the creme de la creme. The connections you can make in that club can help you expand your business beyond the wildest dreams. But they make it way too hard for new members to join, Damn it, Gin who's its people let you join. You certainly seem qualified. Clubs like this are incredibly exclusive. Existing members turn away new applicants, no matter how deserving they may be. All I need is one lousy business card. Do you mean this business card? What? Well, how did you get that? That doesn't matter, does it? Be happy to give it to you. Are you sure? How much do you want for it? How about a trade for something other than money? Hmm. It's a long story. I see. Well, then, uh, alright. Why don't I swap you this? Clearly, it's nowhere near as valuable as the business card, but it's your call. No matter. It's up to the owner to decide how much the card is worth, wouldn't you agree? I say you got yourself a... Uh, no... Okay. You sure you're alright with this? A deal's a deal, but I appreciate your honesty. I owe you one. Sure thing, thanks. Hey, not to be blunt, but would you like to join my company? With a business card like this, I know you're definitely no ordinary man. Oh, sorry. I wish I could, but unfortunately my hour is almost up. What do you mean? Board and business awaits. Goodbye. Hey! Not me! Cutting it a little close, don't you think? <laughs> so, what'd you wind up with? Oh. Going to win, I just know it. Shall we get the ruling from the ball shop then? Nani! Nani! I'll go first, okay. Let's see, well, would you look at this? This here is a genuine article. Wait here a sec, I'll take a closer look in the back. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. So, how much is it worth? Five million. Is it worth a yen? If it were new, right? I don't want to give this guy a heart attack or anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. You don't see these too often. Kind of excite myself. Can't help but wonder who it belonged to. Such a nice watch being treated this way. The thing's all scratched up. It wasn't yours, was it? I don't... 
don't I wish. Knock off a little for that, and well, if I were to buy this off you, I'd pay 980,000. Not bad. Okay, your turn. I I still think I'm going to win. 80,000 was it, then I'll have a chance. Here's mine. Gotta watch too, huh? Oh, another damn fine watch. Just what have you boys been up to? Never you mind. Get on with the appraisal. All right, keep your shirt on. Give me a sec. <laughs> Phew, seeing two of these babies in a row, I can't help break into a sweat. Well, if it was new, it was two million. And in this condition, say 900, though, exactly on the back by 40 years of experience. No. So I win. You failed the test. Didn't expect you'd do this well. Please, a loss, a loss. But I guess I did do pretty well, didn't I? Absolutely. When it comes down to it, the trick is in fulfilling customers' needs over and over against particular Miracolia's odds. In fact, it's pretty much the ideal sales model. By quickly feeling out to the locals' needs and supplying just the right goods, you wound up with a very valuable price. You've got a pretty good knack for business, if you ask me. Is that what you were trying to test? One of the things, anyway. I don't get you, Akiyama-san. You always seem like you're just goofing around, then next thing I know, you zero in on something profound like that. You overestimate me. Mostly I just say whatever comes to mind. <laughs> no, you really are special. I'm glad I was able to do as well as I did against an opponent like you. I almost feel like I could start over. I may be down, but I'm not out. I did all this with a single cigarette, and I can do more. There's a tw that twinkle in your eyes. Thank you, Akiyama-san. I knew I was drawn back to this part of town for a reason. It was to see you. Be on the lookout for me. I just know I'm going to make it big again one day. Counting on it. Thanks. See you. That's such a cool end to the story arc, man. Shiobara? Yes? There, you forgot this. Did you have to throw it? Can't think of anything. I've... Uh, it's money. Yep, 5 million to be exact. But why? I've lent you 5 million, and you insisted on returning 10 million. No interest, no collateral. Wasn't that sunken yet? That money is yours. Akiyama-san. Just promise me one thing, my customers never come back for seconds. Either they fail the test and leave angry, or they pass the test and change their life forever. One of the two. It would be a real shame if my apprentice wound up being my very first repeat customer. Right, I'll do my best. Later. Ah, such a good- this is why I like the side stories of Yakuza games! Ugh. Some of the side stories in the Yakuza games are ten times better than any of the pff, fucking main quests of these games. Ugh. Fill all his requirements. I know I did, so why won't he lend me my money? What does he want from me? Those rumors about Sky Finances were nothing but a pack of lies that bastard Akiyama can get away with this, huh? He's talking about me. I don't remember ever seeing him before, though. Excuse me. 
Did I hear you say something about Sky Finances just now? It's to you, pal. Beat it. Well, it's just that... Didn't I tell you to beat it? I don't have time for this crap. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. She could hear more, but this Joker won't give me the time of day. Rich looking man. Uh, what the frick? This is just some random dude that decides to be like, yo, holy shit, he has a lot of HP. Oh, press the wrong button. This fucker is weak as heck, though. He just has a lot of HP, but he's weak. Deal with Sky Finance anyway. I mean, that outfit is total scam. She's talking about me too. Let's see if I can find out more. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Yeah, what do you want? Pardon me, but did you say something about Sky Finance just now? Did I ever? I had to clean out my outer hoarder's house all by myself. He said it was a condition of my loan. But when I finally finished, he turned me down. He gave me this ridiculous reason that I wasn't ready. Believable, it's nothing but a scam. Calm down now. Can't help it. You just look like him. You do, sorry about that. So, where's the Sky Finest place anyway? Why, do you need money too? You can't forget about that place. I'm certain it's a scam. You might be right about that. Either way, would you mind telling me where it is? Park Alley. There's no sign or anything, which I took as an immediate red flag. Park Alley, huh? Got it, thanks. Oh, and... What? If you really are scrapped for cash, stop by here sometimes. They might act, might be able to help you. Sky Finance. You're some kind of wise guy. It's a big joke. I was afraid that this would happen. No. I'm the real Akiyami. Honest. Come see me if you need help, alright? Phew, I'm beat. Well, it looks like we've got an imposter on her loose. Question is, what do I do about it? Better talk to Hana-chan. She should be able to come up with something. Yes, hello. What is it, Chief? Hey, Hanachan, listen. Somebody's impersonating me, and he's clearly up to no good. Really? Yep, he makes his customers do random chores as a test, but he never satisfied with the results, which means they never get their money. It's like he's got some kind of customer-exploiting, pseudo handyman business going on. Very small-scale scam, considering how much work he's probably putting into it. You got that right. Pitiful, really. I know I shouldn't pay any mind to it, but when it's affecting my reputation... I called you because I was wondering if there was a good way to punish this poser. Would you mind looking him up for me, please? Sure, one minute. Okay, yeah, he's sketchy for sure. He came to Kamarucho and opened up shop about a month ago. He's not just a money lender either. He's also a courier, a handyman, and the list goes on. Interesting, a courier, huh? What do you think? Should I try to come up with a fitting punishment? Oh, would you? That'd be great. Okay. You go to the fake Sky Finances and pretend you're a customer. After a while, make contact with him. Just go along with whatever he says. Sounds good. Thanks, Hana-chan. Sure. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, where's uh, Park Alley? Again? Enjoys it a little too much. Alright, now to check out this fake Sky Finances. Park Alley, was it? I wish I was better with any of these streets. Hotel, Park Boulevard. So here somewhere. Okay. You 
got the time, you got to rhyme. Something like that. Oi! No, I'm not in the mood. Piss off. Park Boulevard. Did you realize there's a sky finance in that building there? That's actually why I'm here. Guy's gotta be out of his mind. He must not realize what he's in for trying a stupid stunt like that. Come on now. I wouldn't do anything all that terrible, would I? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> you know where you're headed? That building on the corner there. Okay, thanks. Well, that's actually a first. Someone pointing me in the right direction. Pardon me, I'd like to borrow some money. Hmm? Oh, customer. Yes, well. My goodness, forgive me. Welcome to Sky Finances. I'm Akiyama, the CEO. Yamasan, I see. Oh, and your name is? Uh, it's Su Su Suzuki. I have to worry, Suzuki-san. I do things a little different around here. You'll give me certain conditions, and it's my job to meet them. Is that right? Yes. See, you're familiar with us. These conditions differ depending on the size of the loan. How much were you looking to borrow? About a hundred million or so. A hundred million? Do you have any idea what you're asking? It's just a coincidence, but it bugs me how much he sounds like me right now. Really need it. Will you lend it to me? I'm going to lend you a hundred million. The terms will be considerable. Are you prepared for that? Yeah, sure. Sky Finance, yes, uh-huh. That's perfect, sure, I'll do it. Be right over. You see, I have my customers take a test so I can tell if they're truly ready for their loan. All right, if you can pass the test I'm about to give you, I'll lend you 100 million yen. Really? Oh, thank goodness. So, what kind of test is it? You'll help me transport a certain something. It's very valuable and almost certainly a target for thieves. Things could get dangerous, do you accept? If it'll get me that hundred million, then I'm in. All right, let's go. <laughs> in the hilarity, I want to spoil it. The feature you guys who get super high voltage battery is worth now what? Hi, Chan. Yes, I'm on my way there now. Phone call at a time like this? You're ruining the moment. Sorry about that. Death Collector's pestering me. Come on. <laughs> Death Collector is pestering me. Should be around here somewhere. Mysterious woman. You're the courier. <laughs> no way. Yep, that's me. They are the goods as discussed. You know the way there? Yeah, yeah. Like the back of my hand. If you let anything happen to this, you know what will happen to you. You can count on me. Just don't make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think Hana-chan sounds like. Phew, pretty aggressive for a woman. Guess that's just how it goes in the underworld. Yeah, who knew? Okay, let's be on our way then, shall we? You want me to carry the case? No, no. You haven't earned my trust yet. I can't risk anything happening to it. I'll carry it. Aren't you supposed to be testing me? Never mind that. Let's go already. Okay, okay. Phew. We're about halfway there. So far, so good. Do is keep this up and halt! Ugh. Leave the case and go. No. Hey, I know. Suzuki-san, if you want that hundred million, take care of these guys, really, but do you want to loan or not? Okay, I get you. Just make sure you hold on to that case, alright? 
Right, I'll defend it with my very life. Here goes. All right, you ruffians, come and get me. Shady men. I'll show you. Amazing. Uh. Yikes. Oh no, he took the case. Seriously, I told you to hold on to it. Now what do we do? What do we do, Suzuki-san? Take a deep breath, the case is gone. You can't get it back now, so why don't we just go on ahead to the drop-off point? You sure? You think they'll forgive me? Is this the drop-off point? Uh-huh. You really think they'll forgive me? Sure, they'll be cool with it. So you're the couriers? Yes, that's us. And the case? It was stolen, it's all his fault. Hey, suki son what the hell are you doing? Just how are you going to reimburse me for the loss? That case was worth a hundred million yen. You better scrap up exactly that much and fast. A hundred million? I don't have that kind of money. Well, so you weren't going to lend it to me after all, even if I passed your test? You be quiet! So you're a money lender too, huh? What's your place called? It's Akiyama, the CEO. Ah, yes, the famous Akiyama-san. A hundred million should be kinch for you. No, no. My real name is Suzuki. That Akiyama stuff was all a lie. Your real name is Suzuki? Was a lie? Is that really the best you could come up with? Look, you have until noon tomorrow to bring me money. Miss the deadline and you'll wind up sleeping with the fishes in Tokyo Bay. Got it? And don't think you can't just... Up and run away, either. We have ways to track you down. <laughs> what do I do now, Suzuki-san? The money. Calm down. I think the best course of action is to leave the country right away. They never follow you that far. But you'd best avoid showing your face in this part of town again. If they find you, well, imagine it won't be pretty. Oh, no. Alright. Thank you so much for your kind advice, Suzuki-san. Please take this as a token of my deepest gratitude. Big help, and with that, I'm out of here. So long. <laughs> Good grief. We did it, Chief. Nice get up on chun I had to bite my cheeks to keep from laughing. Huh? It's that bad, is it? Happened to like it. You guys put on one hell of a show too, especially you, the way you threatened him just now. You sure it was just an act? Oh, most definitely, I swear. Really? You were something else, boss. You really did a number on us out there. In fact, I think I might have broken something. Sorry about that. I had to look real or we would never would have been able to pull it off. I'll treat you to dinner someday to make it up for. Suzuki knew that all that was in here was a couple of statue, uh, statue books he'd flip out right now. What was this supposed to be worth again? A hundred million? Hell, four fell for the hook, line, and sinker. It wasn't a complete buff, though. These books are nearly priceless if you know how to use them. Okay. What do you say we head back? And hey, since uh, we are all here together, why not stop somewhere along the way? This calls for a celebration. Great idea. Yeah, let's go. You're paying, right, boss? Sure, knock yourselves out. We can't just charge everything to my office. All right, come on, everybody, let's go. <laughs> like a theater troupe headed to closing night cast party. You gain 5k experience points. 
I see that key there. This key is mine. The fuck am I even? King Lolt, apparently. Okay, last side quest. I'd drop in and check on the club. How are things? Remarkably well, given the state of the economy. It's good here. Well, it's Miki. What about her? Maybe you'd better ask her herself. She's in today. All right. Wow, what the f... Manager said something was up. Everything okay? Oh, I don't know. What is it? You can tell me. You probably didn't know this, but up until recently, I had a regular name, Taniguchi. Taniguchi, that's right, he was kind of a nerdy creep, but he wound up spending a lot of money on me. 5 million yen, huh? So you know about him? No, not really. Anyway, what about this uh, Taniguchi guy? Well, he suddenly stopped coming to the club. He never struck me as particularly wealthy, so I just figured he finally ran out of money. Taniguchi's not coming around anymore, you're too devastated to concentrate on work, is that it? Absolutely not, I wouldn't shed any tear over for one or two fewer newer types in here, trust me. So what is it? I just saw that dorky Taniguchi walking around looking like he owns the place. It's like he had a major makeover. What's worse, he had another host on his arm. He didn't run out of money after, after all, he changed his image, made himself all cool, then dropped me for some other girl. Surely losing one customer doesn't bother you this much. It's a matter of pride! It's as though somebody told me I was a good match for only the nerdiest customer. I've lost all faith in myself. And I think about it, a lot of customers are kind of weird. That's not true. Fewer and fewer customers ask for me by name. Maybe it's time I leave this job behind. I have an idea. Why don't I give you a refresher course in hosting? Help you boost your confidence. Refresher course? Sure, after all, I'm the one who got you into this mess. Never mind. Anyway, hosts need to make their customers fall for them. Hard. You know that, right? Right. From what I see, you have no problem entertaining customers in the club. Then what am I missing? Are you getting dates after work? No, not really. There you go. What you need are dates. Consider them insurance. Your backup plan. You think so? You bet. Dates are different. It's just you and your customer one-on-one. -on -one. How a hostess acts and the impression she makes at one of these special events have big effect on their customer. How about I give you some tips on how to make a customer fall head over heels for you? Yes, please! Excellent, come with me. Yes, sir. Welcome, let me show you to your seat. Right this way, please. Right to this way. First, let's go over the basics of how to interact with a customer on a date. I'm listening. You interact with a customer on a date. Uh, first one is be open. You should be more open and honest with your customer when you're on a date with them. Open and honest. That's right. What do you think guys ask hostess out on dates anyway? Say they want to get to know us better. Exactly. They want to get us get closer to you so they can stand out among all our other clients. That's why you should be a little more open on a date than you are at the club, okay? They'll think he's the only one who gets to see who you really are, which he'll figure makes him somebody pretty special. Again, now basically interacting with the customer differently will make him see your dates as more than just business. It'll be something personal, an experience for him and him alone, right? 
So what it'll be? Let's see. Not so fast. There's a little trick when it comes to ordering too. Of course. When it comes time to order. Uh, ask for his favorite dish. Go out to eat on a date. It's important to order your favorites, your date's favorite dish. Really? When you see him at the club, get him to tell you his favorite in advance. Make sure you remember what it is. Then, when you're on a date, try and order it in a very matter-of-a-fact way. Oh, your favorite is such and such, isn't it? That will make him think, gee, Mickey bothered to remember my favorites, and then he'll feel like you two have bonded. Okay, the real key here is to add... I like that too, while you order it. Well, for one thing, when your date says she likes the same food you do, it makes you happy. It also means you have similar interests. Oh, I get it. Well, what if his favorite happens to be something I absolutely hate? You can be a very picky person. <laughs> You're a professional. Just grin and bear it. Aw, do I have to? I guess I'll try. <laughs> Here you go. Looks amazing. Bon appetit. So fast. There's another technique that comes to play when eating your meal. Is there really? Tell me about it. Remember when eating. Create a domestic atmosphere. When dining with a date, you have to maintain proper uh, etiquette while at the same time creating a domestic atmosphere. Domestic? Really? That's right. Hostess is typically seen as the polar opposite of a domestic type. So by projecting the homie aura, you accentuate the gap between the two lifestyles. A host who might seem a little distant at the club comes across on a date as friendly or more accessible. It's like you said before, you have to project a sense of intimacy. Exactly. So how do I do that? Let's see. If a dish uses seasonal ingredients, for example, point that out to your date. Or if a meal is nicely presented, say you'd like to try making it yourself one day. Lay up to the fact that you can cook. You'd be hard-pressed to find a guy who doesn't love that. Hmm, anything else? Your date says something tasty. Says something's tasty, or what have you say something along the lines, Oh, I'll keep that in mind. It's almost like saying, I'll make that for you sometime, right? Yep. It's just the promise of your cooking, though. You don't actually have to go through with it. You only need to hint at the possibility. All right. This, is, this has been very education, education and... Thanks for the great meal, chef. We'll take the bill now. Coming right up. Now, there's one more thing I'd like you to remember when it comes to paying the bill. The trick about paying the bill is... Go Dutch. <laughs> take out your wallet like you're going to pay. When dinner's over, the bill arrives. Always take out your wallet and act like you're going to pay. When we put on an act, that's right, you're just pretending. Seeing you prepare to pay like that transforms the evening from a customer slash hostess interaction to a much more private, intimate meal. Your date will feel even closer bond between the two of you. Plus, he'll be impressed by your manners. I see. Your date will insist you don't have to pay, of course, at which point you thank him and put your wallet away. This way you're both satisfied and he keeps his pride intact. Got it. Dates provide another setting for building a relationship formed at the club. Make the most of the situation of meeting outside the club and you can project that sense of intimacy you can create at work. Your customers will feel close to you and he'll come to like you more and more. That's been so helpful. I'll give it a try then. I got my confidence back thanks to you. Happy to hear that. I think I'll send that... Taniguchi message right now. Uh-huh. Got to get that newly hatched hunk away from that other hostess. Haha. <laughs> well, I won't try to stop you. <laughs> you get a huge makeover. You heard about that. I guess Akiyama-san must have told you, huh? No, no, Miki saw you walking around with your new look and another hostess. Oh, right. Well, I did have m more girls coming after me once I changed my image, but we never last longer than a date or two. 
felt like it was myself, like I was living a lie. I guess even the best makeover in the world is really only skin deep. Came to accept that this is the best style for me after all. So when I got your message, Miki, and now here I am. So sorry, you must have really missed me. But I won't stray away. See you at the club. <laughs> Side quests are great. Completed all of Akiyama's substory. Congratulations, you are worthy of the title of Akiyama Master. I have a prize for you. Come to Naomi's place. The fortune teller at South End, Takenshi Street, and I'll give you something. Don't mind if I do. Oh, so that's what Naomi's uh, place is. That's where the new ball, that's where the bulb is at. Is this one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. Um, what can Naomi's amazing psychic powers do for you today? Wait, you're only here on a whim, aren't you? I can tell just by gazing upon you. The great Naomi doesn't provide her service to such foolhardy customers. My readings are cheap, see? But talking to the sack, sad sack next to me, it might actually be worth your while. Hey, I'm Bob Utsunomiya. Let's see what I've got for you. Item packs? Can I actually take these? Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. Um, let me actually stash some shit while we're at it. Item box. Stash, stash, stash. Heat is garbage. Just heat is also garbage. Health boost. Didn't feel right, you know. It's kind of annoying. Can I not like? It was easier when there was a save point like right next to it. Items. Yeah, maybe when I'm playing with the other characters, I get some better chance to actually stash this. Okay, let's continue with the main quest. Main quest, main quest.
I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa, I'm walking on sunshine. Hey, I'm here to train Lily Chanshin. Yes, she's waiting in the back room. Uh, before you go, here are the funds we've set aside for her training. Please limit your spending her to this on her to this alone. Choice, good idea, keeping this separate from the crop trans though. 100 yen. Also, assign Aoki to assist you. Let me know if there's anything I can do, sir. Okay. You won't have two of those to begin with. Before you get those, train two other topics and use free time. In short, your ho first host will be the hardest. Once you've finished getting her to one, you'll get the option going for other girls and it won't take nearly as long. That's it. Blah, 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 blah. Lecture, free time, rest. Dress up. Seductive and elegant. Sure. Makeup. Did this actually... I don't think this actually did anything. Yeah. Accessories. does do something. I don't really think I should care about it right now. So we're just gonna go with this one. Slowly start buying everything ahead of time. Rings. <laughs> Wait with that. Finish. Okay, looks, motivation, charisma, finish. Yeah. The trading regimen refined all the way up. Previous sales, 500k. Go to the club. Looking good. You think so? Of course. Now go get him. Okay, I'll do my best. Putting together a stylish outfit, you get a feel of your customer's preference by walking around the club, then return break room and coordinate your hostess to fit ideal image. You should take a stroll around the club. This entire club is different, it's nothing like a girl with culture, aka refined. Oh, means we're doing good for the first one, classy, refined. I think I'm done surveying. Okay, 
Uh, so we don't need to change that much. I can't train her yet. That's kind of annoying. Outfit selection is fine. Let me take a look at the makeup. Let's see, what did they say? Charming bear top. Hair. Can change that because she's probably the first one. Eyebrows is one. Eyelashes off. Eyeliner off. Color contacts all the way off. Blush on top left. Like that. Top left, so there's this one top and left. Um, no glitter blush. Type one. Top left. Okay. Uh, petite earrings are in already. Accessories. Can I have a headband yet? No, no headband. No hair accessories, please. Uh, necklace, elegant. Yeah, good. Nothing on ring, watches, simple watch. Mm, bracelets, pro bracelet. can't really change much more. Charming bear top. It's even more charm. It's fine, because I need to buy all these anyways. Can't actually train her yet. Until we go with the side quest girls. Refine and cute went all the way up. Motivation up. She seems to be doing well. Culture. Refined and classy. There were way more pop ups during the three. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change anything. Go to the club. It's the last one. Classy and refined. Thank you, I'll contact you later about the results. See you next time. Now that's settled, it's time to pay Marimba a little visit. Just gotta stroll over to Champion District. You just gotta stroll over. I miss my sprinting button. This guy is gonna want to fight, but I don't want to. <laughs> you thought you could catch me? <laughs> My rimba is an instrument, by the way, popular in Japan. My rimba, this is the place. It's locked. Anyone home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. 
Just have to come back later. Mm -hmm. Drama Queen. This is the place Lily said she used to work. Hey cutie, you into that sort of thing? You're taking a mighty look at Drama Queen there. So what if I was? Oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Okama bar, right? <laughs> Am I saying? Of course you do. Okama bar? Are you serious? And you look awfully interested. Just saying, don't worry though. I'm not judging. Ah, not like that. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here is all you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. It's the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. But I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things do... To do, place to be. You no, know, maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff, I'll be waiting. Okama bar, huh? Lily lie about working there. Maybe I should head inside. There's an Okama bar again. Okama bar, meaning... It's regarded the same as gay bar, and there are many gay bars in... Okay. It's a gay bar. Cool. What the? Oh, this guy is fucking dead. He's... he's dead. Must have been like this for a few days now, by the smell of it. Examine. Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Marketing or whatever. Lizzie... Lily had. Shibita family crest. So that means the owner was in cahoots with Shibita. Greeks and Harry probably been rolling for a while now. I'm gonna find a better get out of here before someone sees me. Manager's dad murdered and a few days ago, but looks of it. It's practically naked too, just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanamura. It's the same killer. Maybe someone from the Shibita family. You okay, sweetie? Looked like you saw a ghost. Oh yeah, um... Uh, you don't sound okay. Come and relax over at my bar. Appreciate the offer, but I got a place to be. Sorry. <laughs> You're no fun. Sorry, but I'd be hella intimidated by that. <laughs> and for Sky Finances. More trouble need to get back to Sky Finances. I wouldn't be too surprised if Lily is the killer. Lily Chan. I to tell you this, but my buddies have already got you surrounded. Better hand over your wallet before you get hurt. No, let's fuck them up, boys.
ったまいったちょっと花ちゃん大変だよハナちゃんハナちゃんしっかりしろあ社長お帰りなさい一体何があったんだそれが木戸さんごめんなさいちょっと買い物に行っててあ,あすいません勝手にお邪魔してます社長今ちょっと取り立ての仕事に出かけちゃっててあでもそんなに長くはかからないと思うから待っててくださいあお茶出しますねああお構いなくどうしたんですか何か忘れ物とかいやちょっと秋山さんに確認し忘れたことがあって携帯にかけたんですけど繋がらなくてああそうでしょう社長いっつも寄り道して遊んでるのを邪魔されるのが嫌で携帯の電源切ってるんですよ<笑>おかげで仕事が片付かない片付かない<笑>秋山さんらしいですねおるファクスデスブロンペッチお客さんって感じじゃないな降りない人たちだな<笑>すみませんけど帰ってもらえます社長も外出してますしそれでも用があるって言うなら私が相手にえ危ない花ちゃん<笑>花ちゃん Just flashing a gun. Chief, I tried to stop them, but no. I should have been here to protect you. I'm the one who should apologize. Was it Shibata Kumus again? No. It was some guy named Midori Kawa from the Hatsushiba clan. Hatsushiba clan? That's right. And he said something about their boss and Shibata being really tight. The guy really knew how to run his mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. Sounds like the Hatsushiba clan was helping Shibata family track down Kido san. They're after Kido chan? Why? Is... That's just it. Kido san was here when they showed up. Midori Kawa's guys jumped him. They hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido chan. Didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Hmm. Uh, Chief? I'm oh, sorry. Just thinking about something. So they took Kido chan. Question is why? No idea. Oh. Uh, that Mido. The Kawa guy also stole our clientele re client registry. It sounded like that was what brought, uh, brought them here in the first place. He said he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon in the registry. Well, who knows? I'm more worried about Kido-san. Great. Sounds like I need to pay those Atsushiva goons a little visit. Collect on um, what they borrow. Go get him, chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not going to leave you like this, Hanachan. And where the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards but it's in? Sorry about me, I already called for an ambulance. <laughs> you really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm gonna get Kido Chan and the registry back. You got it, Chief. Start looking for leads. Oh man, perfect shot, so close. I can almost smell it. Or did I forget to wear deodorant? Oh, that's my man! Yo there, did you see those tough dudes flashing their muscle like it's nobody's business? Not quite dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamarush is all about. The glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guys shaking down pass buyers. Not that I like that last part. Dudes, maybe he's talking about Midio Midori Kawa. Walk around without focusing. Start focusing then. <laughs> Hold on there, buddy. Think you can talk for a sec? Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? Of course not. Love talking to washed up porn stars. I'm Mac. Photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart, and I mean all of humanity. Right, and sorry to break to you, but I'm actually a moneylender. 
I run a place called Sky Finance right over there. My name is Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about. Sure thing, Slick. These scary looking dudes were filling down the streets one after another. Like the world's least cheerful conga line. I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shop too. You take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for a pro photograph to end all photographs in the perfect shot. Uh huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's a dang marathon. Akiyama-san, have you ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the world? Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations a flash of inspiration, a spark in the old noggin, a rush of idea juice flooding your mind. It's definitely what never happened to me before. And maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot, I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned, hold up. The greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me f try and find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I really rather just about... And so, come on. It's hunting time, and we're hunting the biggest game of all. So I'm just gonna have to put up with this nut job. Don't look now, Akiyama-san, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that roof over there. <laughs> okay, fine. Sup with that lady, and you're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you gotta do is whip it out, your phone I mean, and etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. Phone camera, huh? Alright, see what I can do. You can learn new techniques from revelations gained by witness particular inspiring events around the city. Uh, these pretty much seem to work the same as they did in Yakuza number 3. Freaking flip bones. Oh. Wow, Penty Thief. There's no way. Fucking underwear thieves. Hey Mac, is this the kind of meal you want? Man, there really are some per freaking Kamarucho. Freaks in Kamarucho, but I was able to unlock new technique from his movement. We're almost a work of art. It's a revelation. The essence of the triple strike. There are only three for Akiyama. I might as well go search him up. Oh, we Akiyama-san, you really did it! I think I'm ready to let my photographic prodigy out in the wild. Guess that means old Mac is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot. Uh, okay, it'll be like I never left. Anyway, I think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about before. Oh, right, I totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs and out onto Takechi Street, but I lost sight of them right after that. Hard to see through all the buildings, you know? Got it. 
That's not much of lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it, Akiyama-san. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. Uh, Little Asia, just south of Beam. We'll see 3 0 guys laughing about some Kung Fu Masters. Okay, uh, Little Asia. I want these abilities, sorry. Get destructed otherwise. Little Asia. This is Club Asia. Is there a difference? Um. South of Beam, Little Asia, Milestone, oh. this is Club Asia, Pink Alley, Champion District, East Shifuku, Parking Alley, Beam, Beam, uh, Beam here. So somewhere around here? Just out of beam. <laughs> Boom. That's why I want these abilities. More skills. I already felt like we were lacking in uh, heat attacks anyways. Encounter. Geez, Spider-Man, you really let yourself go. Oh, oops. Wasn't paying attention. Was the serial killer angry? He's got no choco milk. We want Majima. I will get some choco milk. Give me a sec. Is this down or is this up? This looks up. East rooftops.
the heck? Yes, there's no milk. Give me a sec, though, guys. Right in the jewels. Let's gotta hurt. Hiding <laughs> <laughs> in the nuts. Got no hentai. Jewels, that's gotta hurt. Nice. Yes, mistress. Screw you. I hope you get fired, you good for nothing manager. Oh, crap. Did you hear all that? See, I used to be a hostess, right? Then I quit when I graduated college and started working at this dream company, but my manager is totally worthless. I wish I could just sock him in the face and quit all dramatic like, but I really wanted this job. Ugh. So whenever I feel like quitting, I come to Kamarucho and shout to my anger from the rooftops. Strangely enough, all the experience I gain here, hostess, is actually really helpful in my current job. Maybe you'll get something out of your experience, Kamarucho, too. You're welcome. Otaku! Otaku jinai! Arewa! Seppi, I had a nightmare. SQ had a nightmare? Nunny. I thought you were the nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I take it back. I make bad joke. No, that's so bad. No, that's so bad. That was a very bad joke. I did not make that joke. What was the nightmare about, SQ? No good son of a bitch. Oh, 
<laughs> nice. I'm sorry, SQ. I let my... Uh... ...are staying in your chats and Discord forever. Good. Wouldn't want it any other way, SQ. Such a terrible thing to say. <laughs> Just after guard is broken, as an unarmed enemy attacks you from behind. Not even real, I had a nightmare in that encounter. Oh. Here I thought it was real. No. Telling Lizzie. <laughs> you should. You should tell everyone that I made such a bad joke. <clears throat> everyone should uh, shout at me for that. I had a chocolate cake. Nice. Now I want the chocolate cake. Where are so many bastards running after me all of a sudden? I have sugar rush, not chocolate cake. Chocolate milkshake. It's even better. Yeah, we're going to teach you a lesson for messing with us. I want a chocolate milkshake.
Nutcracker! I can just order a chocolate milkshake. Sadly. But all in all, that would be a great fucking business idea. Just make a restaurant that sells milkshakes and other kind of shaky things, and that would deliver the shaky things to your doorstep. Chocolate pizza. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know you were in the chat. <laughs> How can you say I'm off later? Bro, this trouble. I thought I told you to stay out of my way. I mean, it can't be good for someone in your line of work to look like a wimp and half the town just saw you get your ass handed to you. Be long before word gets out. I can't guarantee you no one's going to be afraid of a bunch of toothless sharks. Let me tell you what, you guys leave town right now and I'll let you off the hook. He's right, we're not gonna get any more customers here. Good, I'm sick of this Kamarucho shit anyways. What do you say, Kobayashi-san? Right, fine. Okay, Akiyama-san, we'll leave. But mark my words, we're coming back to Kamarucho someday. And when we do, we're gonna be big. So big, we'll make you look just like another no-name street punk. And here's a tip for you, I saw some Yakuza pricks roll through a little while ago. What? Yeah, one of them was pretty banged up too. Heard them say something about Sky Finance, which obviously got my attention. Where they went? Down below the theater. You can get there by going past the lockers. Okay, thanks for the tips. See you around, Akiyama son. <laughs> Bye, dudes. Always sneaking about. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? No, it's not. I'd like to know when you're here so I can say hi. Sleep well, dudes. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, talk to you tomorrow, most likely. Oh, yeah, I saw this key here. some Yakuza come through here? Oh, you bet. Those Hashibura Punks. Anyway, listen, I need to get by. Sorry, no can do. Why not? Lock the door down below after they pass through, and let me tell you, that door ain't nothing if you're starting down. But no. Two horses, we can get... We can't stand those jerks, so we'll give you uh, whatever help we can. So here, connect with the basement levels of the Millennium Tower. All you gotta do is find the elevator at the back of the tower, and you're golden. I'll take you right down where you need to go. Perfect, thanks. That was our home before those Matsushiba snoots booted us out. If you help us return the favor, we can finally get it back. Yeah? Well, no guarantees, but I'll see what it can wrangle. And another one! I bet uh, I will hurt myself in the trampoline park fall. Crack my head. I mean, SQ, I hurt myself at a trampoline park. I didn't actually go and crack my head, but uh, I also hurt myself. Now, listen to this. 
Don't go to a trampoline park and try to crack your head, okay? We'd like to keep you around. want to go down. No, we want to go down! I bet I'm running in the wrong direction, like always. After all, that's what Yordi is good at. Wrong directions. All the time. Changes that Banner Lord game is fucking hard. But is it fun, Seth? At least at the beginning. Ah, here it is. So I keep making spelling mistakes, I promise, I know how to type, it's the sugar rush. Can I usually come down here? I don't know. What is this place called? Millennium Tower Basement. Um. But I don't like being robbed 24-7.
Okay, I don't have to worry about any of this. Nothing is actually missable. How many items do I have anyways? Not that much, okay. But probably enough. That reminded me of an incident. What kind of incident, SQ? Hmm... I just went to check if anything in here is missable, but you can come back here whenever you want. Who the hell are you? Name's Akiya, I'm from Sky Met Finances. Always a pleasure. Sky Finance, what's the loan shark like you doing here? Look, I don't mean to offend, but I couldn't care less about punks like you. Mido Midorikawa, where is he? Uh, what do you want with the boss? No one borrows anything from me without, con without a contract. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't have time for this. You have something that belongs to me. You're going to give me my registry back and let Kido Chung go or else. Hell we are, how about we bash your damn skull in instead? Trust me, it'll be a whole lot easier if you just return what you borrowed and suit yourself. I guess it's just one of those days. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I went on this bouncy slide thing. I hit the side and rolled at the end. Fortunately, I didn't hit the brick pavement, otherwise... I would have lost my eye because her glasses cut my face. Or would have cracked my head. God damn it, SQ. How do you keep doing this? No, that wasn't actually what I wanted to do. In the nuts. Well, glad you didn't hurt yourself too much. I can't actually interact with these right now. Whoa! Play Sarge, Yakuza ain't welcome. Relax, pal, I'm no Yakuza, I'm a money lender. One who has business with Mido Rikawa, the guy who's been hanging out down here. Sorry about that. This place used to be our home until the Hatsushiba came along. Kicked us out for Kurt. There was some kind of ruckus going on, so my buddy and I figured we'd try and take the place back while they were distracted. He ended up just chicken out, though. That ruckus was you, then? I was hoping to settle things peacefully, but it doesn't seem to be working out too well. I suggest you get out while you still can. I can take it from here. No way. I'm tagging along whether you like it or not. Ridiculous. It's not safe for you here. I'm not gonna let you push me around like some Sino old fool. Name's Kogro Sukakawa. And I'm going to punish those Yakuza bastards for everything they've done. Hmm. Those thugs showed up, this was practically a homeless paradise. The closest thing most of us have ever had to a real home. Real family. I don't know. Just think I have a strong relationship with bad luck. Yeah. Yeah. They had to go and ruin it, not like some fancy pants rich boy who would understand how it feels, simple. You can come if you want, really. Thanks, pal. Just stand back and let old Kogoro show. Knock yourself out.
Friends, you wouldn't happen to know where I could find Hatsushiba, son, would you? It's back her home, you filth. First, the old geezer upstairs, and now this. Guess the only way to shut you up is to kill you. what Yordi likes to see, levels. In the nuts and on the head. Glasses, magazines, Kasai and Shinozaki. I got some defense, yo. Or fun, hmm. Kaku uh, should still be around here somewhere. He used to be a locksmith. A door like this is kinch for him. Problem is, he's a real yellow belly coward. He's probably hiding somewhere around here for all this to blow over. Better find them. Where the fuck would he be, though? So this is where you've been holed up. What gives, Kaku-san? Kaku-san. Scared shit out of me, almost literally. No complaining, you were supposed to help me fight these punks, remember? But I'm so scared! I talk a big game, but I'm practically pissing myself when the punches actually start flying. I don't need you to fight. Now come on, you're coming with us. The door we need you to open. Oh, that's it? Okay. But make sure you clear everyone out before you call me over. This thing I need is a dirty pair of underwear to distract me from my lock picking.
Decisions, decisions. What kind of decisions? Life requires so many decisions. Can't make decisions, yo. Neither can I. But you don't really have a choice. That's not true. You decided to watch my stream, and that's not bad. That's a good decision. Yeah, I'll get Kaku-san back in Jiffy. Let me see. One of these, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. You should just do what you want, this Q. Voila.
healing items. Nature, damn. Mina Mida, my precious machine. You care about a broke down piece of junk. Now get the hell out of here, Sartor, Dr. Mina Mida. You've come back too. Sukikawa. Perfect timing. Doc used to help us out back when we lived down here. Mind giving us a hand? Sure. And for the old guy, Sushiba sons waiting for me, so let's make this quick, alright? Cock your little shit, ain't you? Alright, fine, I'll kill you. Then you. Then go to work on your dipshit's little friends. I don't like this room. That's what I wanted to see, thank you. I'll just exercise, wait for my phone to charge and watch you Korean boys at night. <laughs> yeah, go do that. Also, I don't know where Bobo is. Sorry to disappoint. She might come in handy if I can actually fix the darn thing. You're a real lifesaver, by the way, thank you. Glad I could help. That's some machine you have there. You want to know about my machine? Oh, I'm glad you asked. This is the F the IF7R, a creation of mine that allows you to relive your Hey, I actually don't have that much time to chat right now, as for you. I take it Atsushiba son somewhere up ahead. Right damn right he is. It's not gonna be the catwalk you're expecting, though. He's gonna wreck your scrawny ass. Sorry, Sukasan. But I'll be going it alone from here. I get it. You were a big help. Just be careful, you hear? I will. Thanks. Okay, Kakusan, one more door. Thanks. See you guys later. Hido-chan, Akiyama-san, hey, you're good. Real dedication to the job. Midorikawa-san, I presume. And I take that that's the Hatsushiba clan chairman. I don't know what you want with Kido-chan in my registry, but what do you say you give them back? You heard the man, boss, what's it gonna be? <laughs> Akiyama, was it? I'm afraid you've got the wrong idea. Oh yeah, how you figure? You didn't lend a shit, you gave it to us. So you see, you can't ask for it back, that's just plain rude. Oh, why didn't you just say so? If I gave it to you, that's different. Damn straight, glad we're seeing eye to eye. Absolutely, now 
I'm gonna ask you to give it back to me. Just playing along with your little game. Now give it back before things get ugly. Ha! <laughs> this guy's a riot. You seriously think you can take us? We won't know unless I try, will we? Oh, I will definitely know, but hey, why not? I'll send you back to your bitch secretary in a body bag. Did, did he just call Hanachan a bitch? that use guns. Did he just run? Is he coming back with a chainsaw? Feel the heat. The fuck this guy. さて、と。会長さん。ま、ま、I was doing Shibata a favor. He wanted me to help find some bitch named Lily. Did you just say Lily? What's Shibata want with her? Hell if I know, but he looked really pissed when he was talking about her. That's why you took my registry? Yeah, we knew she'd come to see you. If she came as a client, you'd have her contact info in your registry. Doesn't explain why Shibata wants her so badly. Oi, oi, SQ. You can't just song request when I'm playing a story game. Put you through all this, Akiyama-san. 
Now don't mention it. You know I'm no good at all at that sentimental crap. It's not like it's your fault. Hana chan couldn't stop those guys. Look, I got my registry back and Hana got off with nothing but a little bump on her head. We're good, alright? Yeah. Should probably get going, thanks. Phew, another busy day. Think I'll take a breather back at the office. Uh, I don't think we should be going back to the office. I think we should check up on Lily. Not sure. What do you mean, I know, SQ? If you know, then don't do it! Timmy! Just have to create chaos. Sq, how many times do I have to tell you that you are not chaos? You're not creating chaos. Today's Lily's last day at the club. I sell total three million in three days. I should drop by and see if she needs any pointers. It wasn't me, it was the sugar rush. <laughs> you people just be making excuses now. be chaos you can't be chaos don't even know what it's like to be chaos You wouldn't even be able to tell if it was in front of your face! Dress up, looks are now B, smart C, charisma C. Go to the club. Charisma. Is currently the goal. Okay, good to know.
charisma is currently low. Our fins are too low for this. fix this one. Training free time. Smarts went up, not charisma, which is kind of a shame. God. It matters if you don't got charisma. Yeah. They really want charisma. But we don't have much charisma on Lily right now. Work at work a hostess club. Yes. Because you're such a good teacher, Akiyama son. That's better. Keep talking. listen to you than my wife. It's all up to you now, okay? Sometime until the club closes. Good luck. Thank you. Once he's calculated your sales, we just need to wait until then. I guess I'll just wait for results over Sky Finances. Beat the boss! your wife no she's just a random stranger I'm lending a uh, hundred million yen if she uh, finishes uh, the job look yum son so what Lily Chun do just finished settling her seat let me see here for three days she made three point nine 
Nice million. Oh, damn, that's incredible. Yes, He's only be here for three days. What about Aqua? Aqua is still my waifu. Shut up. She only be here three days, but the club would really benefit if she decided to keep working here. It's a rare talent for keeping customers happy. Since has been booming ever since she came. <laughs> That's great to hear. Is Lily Chun there now? I'd like to speak with her if she is. Certainly, one moment, please. Hello, Lily speaking. Hey, Lily Chun, I heard you did well. Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Akiyama-san. Nonsense. That's all you, Lily. Your natural talent and hard work. About your guidance, I'm not sure you would have. I would have passed the test. For that, I'm incredibly grateful. Happy to help. How about the money? I have it ready if you have time to meet. Sure. I go. Uh, how's the roof of the Millennium Tower sound? We can meet there. Okay, I'll be waiting. Great, till then. Head to the Millennium Tower. I heard to the Millennium Tower. Lee Chan will be waiting for me. With a big case of money. Money, money, money. It's so funny in a rich man's world. Money, money. It's so funny in a rich man's world. Can take one of the elevators inside to the top. Let's go to the beach, beach. Welcome to the beach. Teach, weech. Tell me to shut up. You shut up and wait. You can shut up. You have to stream, yeah. I mean, you can tell me to shut up, but I won't shut up anyway, so. You decide. Akiyama-san. Well, here's your loan. 100 million yen, as we agreed. Thank you so much. I wouldn't open that just yet, huh? If the wind blew it all away, you'd have a hell of a time trying to get back. Right, that would be awful. I'm just teasing you. It's all neatly bundled up. Go ahead, take a look. Hard to believe it all fits in there, huh? That briefcase contains about a third of what the average college graduate makes his entire life. And his monthly pay is a tiny fraction of that. Strange to think how a man can struggle so much for so little. It's true, but even that can be enough to change someone's whole life. Akiyama-san, thank you so much. Pleasure. At first, I, I was planning to just take the money and run. But you, you believed in me. It made me feel like it was okay to dream again. It had been so long since I felt that way. That's why I'm going to pay back every last yen, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> yeah, about that. Don't worry about it. What? No interest either. Although, it's not like Skyfan Nancy's charges it anyway. I don't understand. I am not in this business for the money. Money changes people's lives. I just like to see what happens up close and personal. Why did you choose this sort of test for me? Are you sure you want to know? I don't normally tell folks the reasoning behind the tests I give them. Well, this time around I wasn't about s it wasn't about seeing how serious or determined you were. Truth be told, I was testing myself. I don't understand. How do I put it? 
let's just say I don't consider myself the best judge of character. I said I've been betrayed a lot over the years. It's almost it'd almost be funny if it weren't so tragic. But it's true. The bank I worked at set me up, then cut me loose. The woman I loved walked out on me. It's been one thing after another ever since. Just the other day, Yakuza had been backing straight up killed a guy and disappeared. It got me wondering if I should even bother trusting anyone anymore. Akiyama san. I guess it all just part of the job. Still, I'd at least like to think I'm safe with the people I trust. I'm only human, you know? So how did having me work at your club test you? Because I found you alluring, enough to make three million in three days. I wanted to see if my hunch was right. Sorry to put you through all this or something so stupid. No, it's okay. I feel really lucky to have met you. Maybe, but luck isn't something that just finds you. You have to get out there and put yourself in the position to be lucky. Are you listening to this, Lizzie, uh, Lizzie SQ? Are you listening to what they're saying? You should take, take note of this. <laughs> For what it's worth, I couldn't be happier that you passed the test. どうしてリリちゃん。人を殺してまってるの。金村工業の組長を殺したの。君だよね。違います。大女優ってバーの店長もそうだろ。どうしてあんなことしてる。あのライター。ライター。そう。君が初めてうちの店に来た時に持ってたライター。あれだよ。あのライター、大女優って店のだったでしょ。それこと聞いたら、君は以前世話になった店だって。ええ。あの店ね、女装バーだったんだよ。知
So when is this stream teach SQ life? Well, I uh, hope to teach everyone life with my stream. Ah, oh, Hanachan, everything okay? Still waiting for some test results, but everything is good so far. They'll probably release me soon. It's great it's news. I have some good news of my own. I found Kido Chan and got our registry back. Really? You did? Way to go, Chief. You take care, alright? I'll talk to you later. There's a matter that needs discussion, sir. Would you mind coming by the club to talk? Sure. What's wrong? It's about the club's finances. I'm afraid I don't ask for your help. The club may be in danger of going under. Really? Well, we want to avoid that. Okay, I'll be back soon. Wait. Your... Your need tell us Q Ken's life. Oh, you can. But you gotta try a little bit harder. There's a lot of competition out there, coverage when everyone's looking for girls. Club employee scouts to find new girls and even hire professional trainers for the girls. Want to compete otherwise will keep losing money. I'll take care of this myself. But you're the owner. I don't have a choice. It'll cost too much to hire people to do it. Besides, I can handle it, I think. As you say, sir, we'll leave it to you in your hands then. Let us know if you need our help. To use, I'm afraid we only have spare thousand yen right now. Thousand. Hostess club scouting. I'm trying. I know you are SQ. And I know I sound very rough all the time when I talk about that kind of stuff. It's really because I want you to try and not just lay with it. Because if I can pull it around, I bet you can pull it around as well. You don't have to make money, you don't have to like be amazing at everything. Just that you get out of bed at some point and be like, today is a nice day, right? Yo, you already Google says. It says 404 arrow. Error. God damn it. Right outside the Millennium Tower. Why are you hanging out in a place like this? You're going home, right, since the young lady. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to you anymore. I can't believe you went through my cell phone to snoop on me. This is seriously messed up. Just want to make sure you're not mixed up with the bad crowd, that's all. What gives you the right to decide if my friends are good or bad, huh? I'm your father. That gives me the right. It's my job to look after you and to protect you. I don't need you to protect me anymore. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. Hey, wait. Love to handle and said I'd never come back, but now what? Guess I can go grab my stuff when dad isn't home, but I can't afford to live alone. Goes to Google and types <laughs> how to life. Seppi, how do we life? Who's this club? Sure. I saw you fighting with your father earlier. I understand what you're going through. 
If you promised to work hard, I could even sort out a place for you to live. Really? Sure. But I'm not pretty or sexy. I'm hardly a hostess type. No worry, I'll take care of everything. Well, I guess it's worth a try. At least for a little while. Thanks. And settled. Come on. Let's get to the club. We try to reprogram our brain with pro help. To Elysian. We're going to make you into this club number one hostess. You need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? Let's just go with Yordi. Who fucking cares? Alright, thank you. First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry. Guarantee you'll look great. Uh, let's see. I might as well buy the long halter top. Looks nice on her, though. Conviction that every person was evil after me, right? Refined. Not bad, really. It's a little embarrassing. It's time to get out on the club for don't worry. I'm sure you'll get customers. Okay. Have you heard of Super Service? Super Service? No, I don't believe I have. Most provides the best possible service to a customer. She shines like a radiant goddess. We call Super Service. Now that's I like to see. Outfits and training. While the hostess has high level of motivation, use variation of outfits to try and achieve Super Service. You need to activate it five times. Okay, so there's nothing here right now. Flashy girls. Ugh. Is that it? Flashy? Okay. Every fucking day of the year and it worked. Many more tricks like that. But it's good to find good psychologists because it's much easier. It's also good to try and do stuff. Yeah, what Seppi says. Okay, dress up. We need a flashy outfit. <sighs> flashy, which means the mermaid dress. Hairstyle selection. Early updo. Row three, column one. Are this rows or are this columns? I think it's this one, right? You may be Yordi, Mom. Yeah, that's me. Horizontally. Okay, good to know. See, guys, I'm not that smart. This one, makeup, eyebrows, three, row one, column three, uh, eyelashes, two, row one, column three. Those eyebrows, sorry. Top left. Eyeliner. Four. Top left. Eyeshadow. Uh, row four. One, two, three, four. And home four. Two, three, four. Glitter eyeshadow on contact colors. Row three, one, two. We did like uh, 20 convictions and turns them into something positive. Maybe. Maybe. 
the damage. For example, I also had conviction that life sucked as hell, and I turned it into life. It has good art, music, nature, great food. Uh, blush. On top left. Glitter blush. Lipstick. To top left. From these settings. Um, accessories. We don't have headbands yet. You have earrings, snowy rings, necklace, chain necklace, start off with nails, gorgeous nails, rings, it's too expensive, simple watch, bracelets, bracelets. And finish. Save, load outfit. Yes. Uh, this is gorgeous and flashy. Score. I can drive gorgeous. Score. Just. Okay. Finish. Confirm settings, yes. Cool peeps who like her, even though they are in the internet. I can write a guard one true level. I never know how to do that. That's why we have Google, right? Okay, training. Mm. Let's just go with looks. Sorry, I'll throw a header there next time. Ooh, stress went up. I'm scared, maybe Yordi and Seppi aren't real, huh? If we all are dreaming. It's okay to be dreaming. Uh, flashy babes, refined girls, teach me how to live. I'm such a slob. Okay, flashy and refined. I think just going for one at a time is good enough, right? Uh, flashing. Free time. tips and free time nice charisma went back up technically SQ streaming when you're in my channel the okay, next one is refined that's kind of annoying to switch that up entirely. Some class. Which is also refined. We have scooped.
Yuri's rank went up. I can tell you've both been putting a lot of time to keep up the excellent work. Till we reach the new next milestone. Total sales. Nice. Profit. Remaining balance. 53. Number 26. That's good enough. You only have one girl here? Yeah, only one girl that we're training, at least. Let's go back in. I want to go do it again. Let's walk the floor first. Yeah, good idea. Uh, at least I can... Uh, if you don't got charisma, refined girl... Okay, charisma and refined... Dress up. Outfit selection. Charming bear talk. Start with that one. I can actually buy a dress. Let's just buy all the dresses while we're at it. Uh, I can't do all dresses. Mm. Mini skirt dress. Skirt is cute. Sexy dress. Sexy and cute. There's a hint of mischief in there. Now let's go for the spaghetti trap strap one first. Um, standard or medium cut? Standard. Oh. Can I change this hairstyle? Top left. I think we'll go with standards. I can't really choose top left though. So I guess this is fine. Makeup. Uh, eyebrows. One. And top left. In this situation. One girl is enough. Eyeshadow. Off. Glitter eyeshadow. Off. Full contacts. Off. Blush on top left. It's fine. Glitter blush off. Lipstick. One and top left. Uh, we don't have a headband still. At least, maybe now. No. Okay, earrings. Petite earrings, which we also already own. Necklace. Is the elegant necklace. No nails. Rings. Uh, it's way too expensive. I'm not bothering with that just yet. Watches. Simple watch. It's fine. Bracelets. Pearl bracelets. Already own as well. Finish. Save load outfit. This one is going to be refined. Refine. Duh. Okay. Motivation up. Revined and cute. Nah, that's good enough. Real life, do we really cool that spaghetti strap? I don't know. Um, talking tips is charisma.
Charisma B. Nice. Go to the club. Okay, let's have a look around. Drop that gorgeous. Talking, talking, I prefer a lady with a refined... The smart hostess could fix my marriage. Just to be drop dead gorgeous. Okay, that's enough to figure out. Okay, we're gonna go dress up again, because we need all the outfits. This one is probably not gonna work, but I don't really care at this point. Just change the dress, because I need to buy all the dresses. Again, cool face bomb. The yeah, refine is still going up cute as well, though. That's fine. Smart say, but I need to first go do training free time. All of them just on the phone. Reduce the stress. Smarts went down, or did it go up? Couldn't tell. Okay, let's go. Oops, I did it again. Little intelligence goes a long way, but a gorgeous girl. Smart. Done surveying for the time being. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Then I lost it again. Oh, baby, baby. Oh. Change clothes. Wait, why did my cost go up again? Don't know. Oh, it must mean that uh, changing the hair and such costs money. Training. Trivia drills. Smarts went up, nice. Gorgeous woman, intelligence. I wanted it was a smart girl. Yuri son's rank went up. I can tell you both been putting in a lot of I keep up the excellent work. Let's aim for the next milestone. Total sales, Yuri's individual sales, 32, requested three times. Remaining balance, 38. Okay, good enough. Number 20 today. I'm getting too distracted. Okay, let's see, what is the... Juice today. Brains over beauty. That's what I say. I need a refined girl. Teach me how to live. I'm such a swamp. Okay, back to refined it is.
least now we can actually put on the right dress. Okay, use these save settings. Didn't cost anything. Outfit selection. No new outfits. So it was the charming. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy laugh. I have chocolate. Okay. Oh, wait. Give me a sec. Let me save this. I'm sorry, I'll try harder next time. I like him cute. Refined is nice. Intelligence goes a long way. Seems to be going okay. Having fun playing dress up. As much fun as a man can have playing dress up. Following three options will allow you to balance the hostess stress and motivation. Extra allows you to motivate and host us. It also has a slightly beneficial effect on the other statistics. The cost of stress greatly increased. Relax. Hey, dress up. We're gonna go for a new dress. We're going with a cute setup this time. Short hair. Yeah, okay, changing the hairstyle does cost money. That's good to know. Short hair. Uh, short hair, top left. Mm, eyebrows, one top left, eyelashes, two top left, eyeliner, one row, one column, two, eyeshadow on row four, column three. Eyeshadow glitter on contact colors on row three, column three. Blush is already on top left. It's everyone, glitter blush, lipstick two, and row three, column one. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have headbands yet, most likely. Earrings, parts. Let's 
fine. You can buy that. Necklace, none. Nails, cute nails. No rings, watch, simple watch. Still the same. Bracelets, jewel bracelet. I also own that one already. Finish. Save. Submitted. Yes. Turn to. Cute! You get a cat, will you play dress up with a cat? No. I couldn't dress up. A poor cat. Okay, uh, which time zone are we? Okay, free time. Charisma went up. Okay, let's see. Doing good. Gorgeous girls. I want a girl who's utterly adorable. A girl who's smart. Cute girls make me feel loved. Gorgeous. Intelligence. I think we're just sticking with the cute outfit then. Training. Relax. Relax. Take it easy. Motivation down a little bit, but that's fine. Gorgeous girl. No, sorry, no gorgeous girl. See you next time. Okay, no ranking. Total sales two mil thirty eight. Bonus twelve. Mating balance, 40. Okay, good. Life's all about looking good. If you don't look good, you might as well not be alive. Should be drop that gorgeous, okay. Gorgeous and flashy. Ooh, new wardrobe. New accessories. We actually have hair accessories now. How much are they? Double headbands, new earrings, those I don't really give a shit about though. Save over the cute one. Okay. Load. Yeah.
outfit selection. Anything new here? Nothing new here. Okay, save over gorgeous and flashing. Save. Yeah. Gorgeous and flashing. Training. Lecture. Hope this goes well. Stats raised. Okay, that seems good. Boom, A, B, C. That's what we like to see. Some flash regular girls. Okay, I think it's... Kind of fucked me up. Okay, this outfit still seems to be good. Yum, water, now I can feel the blood going to my brain. Wait, I have a brain? SQ, everyone has a brain. Without a brain, you cannot type, drink, breathe. Smarts went up again, that's nice. Looks seen. Don't have to change the outfit. Okay, that seems to be doing just fine. Flashy, cutesy girls. Nah, I'll keep with the flashiness, I guess. OMGs. OMGs, SQ. Oh my god, look at that butt. Every three shifts, okay. I have half a brain. <laughs> Only half a brain? Remaining balance, 41. Achieve 10 regular customers, nice.
Half is enough. I don't want to be greedy. <laughs> Gorgeous, brains over beauty, that's all I have to say. Okay, now that seems to be good enough. Every three shifts. this right now. Birdie is getting a cat. One day, maybe. If I ever get more space. Flash. Charisma. Minds, gorgeous woman. Don't have to change anything again. Free time. three shifts. Smarts went all the way up to A, nice.
save load outfit. Hold. Stall! Okay, finish. stats right now. Refined is still pretty high up, but that's fine. But at least she's not alone. Cat's name will be Nightmare. Oh, that's my name. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not your name. SQ, your name is SQ. See you next time. Okay, Yuri. Yeah, yeah, that's what you always say. Gorgeous around here. Charisma. Yeah, what Sep says. Humble as fuck. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. the dad rule. If you had fun, it's enough. If you laugh hard enough, others will catch up. Relax, take it easy. 23 dresses.
Well done, Akiyama-san. See you next time. Total sales. Here is individual sales. Bonus 6. Total profit. Remaining balance, 102. Beauty over brains. Brains over beauty. She's gotta be drop dead gorgeous. Ara, ara. Snack. Something new for the wardrobe. New wardrobe! Okay, how many dresses? Wait. These are just different color halter necks. Type outfit. Okay, let's just do that. Hairstyles. Straight up doom. Sisterly updo, voluminous hairdo, medium cut, fluffy bob. Yada yada. This is gonna take a fucking long ass time. Looks B, smarts S. Oh, really? She's doing a great job with her customers. She must be feeling great, too. I think I'm done surveying. Loads affect your brains. No teachings affect your brains, Sep. Come on. Didn't actually check what uh, refined still. Okay, that's fine. Yori seems to be doing a little bit too well. <laughs> I still haven't unlocked enough dresses.
off the shoulder. Uh, you can buy, but only unlock a few outfits for every three f to four full shifts. This is gonna take forever. Just to be safe. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yama is the only character who can do this activity. See you next time. She didn't rank up again. That's good. For me, at least. But her sales have gone way up, which is also good, I guess. Chief 20 regular customers. Well, let's shut off this chapter, okay? Before... Uh... We end tonight's round. I'll most likely be returning to that once I... Uh, unlock uh, Premium Adventure Mode. Nutcracker! Bye bye time? Almost. I don't know how long the rest of this chapter is gonna take, so. Serena Eliway. Oh, Chief, welcome back. Hey, Anna chan. Glad to see you're doing better. You really shouldn't mess with people like that. Don't you worry, boss. It'll never happen again. Not after all the self defense training I've got planned. So, what happened with that lady who came here for the 100 million? What, Lily chan? Please tell me you didn't loan her the whole thing at once. Actually, I did, just now. What? Yeah, funny thing, really. And er, don't be mad, but somehow I don't think we'll be seeing that money again. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Lily Chan told me she'd pay it back, but I get the feeling that's not gonna happen. And you lend it to her anyways? But I didn't do explanation baka yet. Wait, never mind. What's wrong with you? What's the big deal? Last I checked, this was my company. Can lend money to who I want and when I want, Chief. Besides, it's hardly the first time this sort of thing happens. Why make a fuss about it now? You have against Lily Chan, Anna? What's wrong? Urgh, that's it, I quit, huh? That's not good. Get after her fast! Well, start running already, old man. Uh, are we tackling Hana? I don't think we're tackling Hana. She has infinite stamina, though. 
according to down there, but according to her panting, that's not uh, the case. She's fucking fast, though. So, are you gonna tell me what's wrong or not? I don't get it, Chief. You going out of your way for this lily son, hmm? Care if you're the owner. Lend that much to total strangers is plain crazy. Come on, Hana-chan, she passed my test. Give her the loan, same rules I hold everyone to. Lie to me, Chief, I know the real reason you did it. What? Because she reminds you of every son. Don't try to deny it. Hana-chan, please, it's not like that, just hear me out. Say what you need to say, it's true. I was pretty blown away at first. And it's not every day the spinning image of your ex comes walking through your office door. And I won't deny I eh? have feelings for Lily Chump. Pretty face, great personality, narrow of mystery. She got the whole nine yards. Not why I gave her the loan. You know I wouldn't do that. Still. You don't believe me, do you? No. It's just... Ray knew all that. It doesn't change the fact that I'm mad at you. Come on, Nana-chan. You Hana-chan me? What are you doing dragging all that ga baggage around? Every son's never coming back. Why can't you accept that? Or did you forget how she left you for another man the minute you got fired? It was never about you, Chief. She was only in it for the money. Leave Ari out of this. Chief, I... Don't... Don't. Hearing you talk about her like that makes it worse. You're right, huh, chan I've got a lot of baggage waiting me down. I had honestly thought I could get rid of it all. Live free, but I guess there are some things I can't let go of. It's just who I am, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. When stuff were at you, no chance. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That doesn't mean I'm going to just magically forgive you. No, I guess not. Do I get credit for at least trying? Chief, I'm still quitting. Ah, chan today made me realize our relationship is too... little... a little too codependent. I've been with you eight years now, ever since banking days. I've always admired you, Akiyama-san, but I think I need some space. So uh, I still have to figure out about my future in the industry, my feelings for you. No buts! You've done so much for me over the years, and I know it won't be easy for you being on your own. But you'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Ah-chan, wait. Goodbye, Akiyama-san. No, Hana-chan! Akiyama-san, thank goodness. Some seriously shady customers just shown up. They look like Yakuza, so? But people like that all the time. Yes, but there's more. Apparently, they know Lily-san, and they asking to see her. They're starting to make a scene. That could be a problem. Yes, sir. Normally, I'd handle this myself, but they came in a big group. Hang tight, I'll be right there. Sorry about this. Please hurry. Oh, this club can be a real plane sometimes. I better go over to Elise. Again, I just came from there. Random punks need to be punched. Um, oops. That was not the one that I wanted to do. I keep trying to do the wall one. I keep messing up.
That's not much, man. Daisaku Minami of the Majima family, a Tojo clan subsidiary. いや、送信ボタンを押したつもりだったんですが、押し間違っちゃったみたいで。申し訳ない。暗かったもんで、つい。暗かったからつい押し間違えた。兄ちゃん。その話、ほんまやね。そうか。ならまあ、いいわ。あの、南さんでしたっけ？あ、まや。あの、南さんのご用件は何なんでしょうか？おお、それやそれ。この店にリリーって女がおるって聞いてな。なんやえらいピッピンさんらしいやないか。そんでちょっと指名したらなあかん
Did you just throw booze in his face? Yeah, that's definitely a little uh, Majima Prodigy. Minami. Just this five minutes of Chinese plank, personal best. Nice. Feel the heat. Up and nuts. Kill you, Chan. This is Majima's prodigy. Only less good looking. Has two eyes. And way weaker. It's the one and only much Mahan. Oyaji. ここにおるんやないのか。彼女はもうここにはいませんよ。どこに行ったかも知りません。そっか。遅かったっていうことか。リリに一体何の用です？リリは柴田組に追われていた。まさか真島さん。あんともそのことに関係しているんですか。そうなんか。柴田組が教えてください、真島さん。リリは一体何者なんですか。なぜあんたたちに追われなきゃならないんですか。あいつは安子ちゃんは。俺が守らなあかんねや。安子。それが理理の本名ですか。なんであなたが守る必要があるんですか。それが俺の償いやからや。25年前のあの日のな。85。During Yakuza 0. One complete. The plot thickens, so you can say that again. At least we got to see Majima's face. We still haven't seen Kiryu's face. But I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get to play Kiryu like near the end of the game. <sighs> Ah. <sighs>
April 20th, 1985. What the fuck? This is not Kamarucho. This is... What's this place called again? It isn't that... いらっしゃい。お邪魔すんで。いや、それにしても暑いな。まだ4月やっていうのに何やねんな、この暑さは。え、何や、30度もあるらしいわ。ほんま、この国はぶっ壊れとんのと当たり前。ちょっと待って、ほら、ゆうてさん。誰がや。うちの親父が。島野さんが。なんや、世の中の流行は環境問題らしいで。これからうちらの業界も環境に気使わんといかんらしい。はあ、アホらしい。おれ。
ガスコちゃんを残したままでいいのか兄弟関西弁忘れとるであお前人が真剣に喋ってる時に俺は覚悟できとるよ俺もお前と同じや支えの親父のためやったら何でもやるそれにそれにハメしてみたいんや西島大河っちゅう男がこの登場会へどこまで登れるのかを西島Pretty sure in Zero they kind of talk about this, that he does this, and that's what ends up. Losing Majima's、uh, eye. ササイグミのサイジマイ。今マジマと待ち合わせの時間なんやけど、あいつ声へんね。ああ、そうや。ちょっとそっちで。来よった。ああ、もうええ。昼で。Think they actually stole him? なんや。十人以上おるやないか。Yeah, they fed them false information and then stalled Majima, to which he couldn't get here on time. I think that was explained in Zero. At least that's、uh, why he had to stay in that one area during Zero. Psst. SQ, what's up? Portal assassination. Mm hmm.
is one badass scene. My armpits? It's because my armpits have white hair. So you don't see it. Taiga Saijima. Chapter 1 To the Truth. <sighs> April 21st, 1985, few hours after the attack, Taiga Saijima Tojima Sasai is arrested for the murder after surrendering to the Kamarucha police. Police suspect. The attack to be part of a feud between the powerful Tojo clan and adversary Ueno Sewa clan. Executive involvement of both clans is investigated as police begin interrogation of Sejima. For Sejima maintains his silence to throw out the interrogation and able to establish a direct link to the Tojo clan. Police concludes that the incident was a one-man job. Sejima is sent to the prosecutor's office. A few months later. 20-year-old Taiga Saijima is given the death penalty for the murder of 18 members of the Ueno Sewa clan. It's immediately transferred to Tokyo Penitarier. Penitarier. Decades later, on March 1st, 2010, after 25 years of awaiting his execution, Taiga Saijima is suddenly issued a transfer order. Now we get to play as Taiga. Twenty ten. サイジマタイガだ。本日現時刻をもって、ペシュトランスフォーマルオブエンタリーとオキナワペネトリーの。おう。オキナワ。Which is where Kiryu you now lives. He's not in the jail. Ooh, he's still alive as well. Don't remember his name. ください。What the? Aren't you Taiga Sayajima? Hmm. 
It's re it's really you, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, Sajima, the Stone Cold Hitman. You're a freaking legend. Is that right, fellas? I'm not the Hitman. Say what? I said, I'm not a Hitman. Guys, what are... what's going on here? あんた。本当に最島なのか。本当にあの最島隊がなのかって聞いてんだよ。せやったら何やねん。神様ってやつは本当にいるんだな。どうやら俺らにも運が回ってきたみてえだ。俺らが誰か分かってるよな。上の聖和だよ。あんたに25年前殺された上の聖和会の若衆の子分だよ。あんたに親取られてから20数年。この日が来るのをずっと待ってたぜ。親取られた。開始っちゅうわけか。そんな簡単なもんじゃねえ。俺らの人生をめちゃくちゃにしてくれた。あんたへの復讐だ。Prisoners. <笑> You fighting? さっきの勢いはどうした。あ。うん。なんだその目は。まだ殴られたのか。おい、斉藤。おい、斉藤。斉藤。終わりだ。<笑> だこいつは今日は執行日じゃないだろう。どこまでだ。どうしてだ。別にいいだろうか。こんなクズ一人殺したところで先月もそうやって二人殺しただろう。ちょっとやりすぎだ。打ち殺したな。Oh, uh, this guy uh, has issues.
前にお客さんだ<笑>おのれは高くつくぞ外のやつに指示してあんたの口座に一本振り込ませておくそれでいいだろう<笑>ちょうど車検でな新しいのに買い替えようと思ってたんだ助かるよ<笑>あんまり長いすんなよじゃあティックトックティックトックよっ、ガーツ ain't gonna be too thrilled about this outside of the one you just paid off, I mean. This place has got more than its share of psychos. Can't imagine they'd be happy knowing you came by to see me. Heh, <laughs> you don't know a goddamn thing about where you are, do you? It's no ordinary prison, friend. How's that? Let me ask you a question. You know what this place is called? Yeah, okay, now uh, Penetarian number two, good. Thing about that is, though, no Penetarian by that name officially exists. Not in Okinawa, not in Japan, not anywhere. Sure, like I'm falling for that. It's the truth. You'll look on the map and you'll... and all you'll see is some nameless... uh, correctional facility, nothing out of the ordinary. In fact, it's a privately funded high-security prison built under government contract. Raisin and boy, nothing. Why would they? Paper, this place is just like any other correctional facility. An easy, humanitarian way to deal with the rising prison population. But the truth lurking under the surface is damn sinister. The only reason it exists is that is to make Yakuza like us despair, no question asked. What do you mean despair? Pretty much sure you can guess. The correction officer Officers who was laying into you buried a few guys just last month or so. Take them in here and the beats them to death. In this room, huh? Yep. I'm pretty psyched once he's done. I'll let you tell you that. Worst part is, they don't even owe up to it. Official cause of death is always of illness or some <clears throat> other random bullshit. Remember, this place was built for the worst of the worst. You die in here, no damn soul's gonna bother asking why. That's goddamn insane. That's the truth. Good news is, it goes both ways. Most of the guards in here are more than corrupt enough to take a bribe or two. <laughs> Makes life a little easier for me, at least. So what's all this got to do with me? You dropped the mail to get to me. Well, here I am. Spit it out already. I need your help with something. March 4th, the next day. の目を盗んでその手のプロだった囚人にこびさせたこれでお前は棒を抜け出せるはずだまだ俺はやるとは言うてへん<笑>やるさあんたはやる<笑>やるに決まってるさ
れの清和会が生き残ってるやとはああそうだ上の清和は今も都内の島で活動している組織を拡大してなお前俺がシャバのこと何も知らん思てでたらめ言うとるんだちゃんが嘘じゃねえそれに上野は今じゃ搭乗会の親戚だあの事件の後、登場会は上野と五分の差がつかわしたんだよ<笑>どういうことじゃあんたは上野よちわるを取り損ねただが実質上あの事件の後の上野世話会は虫の息だったしかし上野世話会は潰れなかったなんでやそれはなあんたの親父さんのせいなんだよ親父のあの25年前の事件の直後支えのおじぎは事件の責任を取って急遽引退してしまったもしあの時あんたの親父さんが引退してなければ支えのが直系の組として昇格してただろうなんでなんで親父はさあな支えが消えちまった今となっては真相は分からんだが支えのおじきの引退により組は解散そして昇格したのは他でもないあの柴田組だ柴田組そう支え組と直系昇格を争ってたあの柴田組だで柴田 again 結局25年前のあの構想事件は支えのおじきとあんたから全てを奪い去っちまっただけの出来事だったんだよあんたの気持ちはよくわかるね前島さんよさぞかし無念だろうよあんたは極道としての義理を貫き通した失敗だったとはいえたった一人で敵対する組織の幹部衆を18人もぶっ殺したあんたは登場界の伝説なんだぜ田島さんよでもな25年前のあの事件実は裏でもっと面白い話があったんだよあの日あんたはもう一人の兄弟分と一緒に上野を襲うはずだったでもやつは来なかったそうだろう<笑>実はあれはな最初から計画されていたことだったんだよLTF all it's soaking yet. Get it, shit stinks knowing your own brother went and stabbed you in the back. He didn't though. But now that you know the truth, I don't imagine you'll be happy just sitting in here nice and quiet till it's your day to hang. That snake in the grass, Majima, has been living the high life, throwing his weight around Kamarucho. He's the king of the damn world. But you're running away in this hellhole. Stuck shoving down some of the worst slop known to men. Survive. If that's not the textbook definition of fucked over, I don't know what is. Way I see it, you've only got one shot at selling the score, but you are never gonna do that if you don't get out of here. Make our escape tonight at one o'clock while everyone's sound asleep. I'll get out of my cell using one of the two keys I had made. 
You can do the same with the other. I'll wait by the entrance till you're out. Next step is all you. Once you're ready, throw your bed down over the reel to distract the guards. They'll be on your ass in an instant, so just keep him busy while I slip behind and head for the warden's office. We'll meet there once you're done dealing with the guards at the warden's office. Why there? There's something there i gonna need once we're on the outside, but don't worry about that. Right. After recon v after we reconvene, we book it across the yards over Farwell, the one with the garden tower. Make it out our way up with a grappling hook who will be home free. Hell to get hold of something like that. Haven't? Not yet. That's where you come in. Our job is to find something we can use as a rope and some kind of hook to go with it. Yeah, and how... Are you expecting me to do that? We get all kinds of interesting folk in here. This is interesting folk smuggling all sorts of interesting stuff. Weapons, food, you name it. So what, you want me to barter? Or less? There's one guy in particular who will really get things moving. Take a look. At booming a business down in Okinawa, I got caught up in Yakuza shitstorm though. That busted for illegal arms manufacture. For us, a skill got him in good with the guards. They even let him set up a little workshop in here. So you got the material, you can't make them near anything. All you gotta do is get him what he needs. Anyway, let me know once you've got the grappling hook. Better hurry, daylight's face. Daylight fades fast. You got McWord. McWord. I don't know what McWord is. Jesus. Well, that was a lot longer next chapter intro than I anticipated. Ooh. Ooh. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all had a fan fucking fantastic time. <laughs> Fantastic evening and fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Sleep well. Adios. And until the next time, good night.